Welcome to Sword AF. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Yeah. We first see a small goblin of bluish skin sauntering up right on time, eager as a beaver, to the front of this tavern. Tell us a little bit about this person. I'm Bug. I'm also a cleric of the trickster domain, and I'm a goblin. Um, looking around, I know I'm gonna start working with some new people. I'm really excited, uh, and I go straight to the bar. I'm, you know, when people are excited and they're standing on the edge of their toes, mm -hmm. I'm doing that, <laughs> and I'm walking back and forth, and I keep uh, my. I have a hammer that's really, really shiny, and I keep looking at it, and I keep like adjusting my gauges, and because um, you can adjust them, you know. Um, <laughs> and I, it's just really first day of school energy coming from Bug. Uh, while Bug is at the bar, um, right on time, never early, never late, we see an older halfling walk into the bar. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Amanda? I am Dolores Paradise, and I'm a halfling, and uh, I'm also a warlock, and I'm really, really thrilled to be here. <laughs> you know, I've, I've been in my home prepping and getting ready, and I'm wearing my favorite dress. It has apples on it. I love apple pie. <laughs> I brought what? slices for everybody just in case. I think they're smushed in my bag right now, but I'll bring them out and everyone can enjoy them. And the tavern is really busy. Oh my God, I'm trying to look for my friends. Is anyone here? Oh, I think I see Bug. I'm gonna get a glass of mead. <laughs> Ooh, oh yeah. Okay. Starting off strong there. Um, Big glass. So as y'all are awkwardly standing and not quite interacting yet, we, we see someone show up only a couple minutes late. Uh, they've got like this kind of saunter to them. Tell us a little bit about that, Chance. What's up? I'm Coda. Uh, I'm an elf, like a summer elf wizard. Uh, and I'm a blade singer. It means I'm really good with blades. This is my blade, Snake's Talon. I'm still uh, writing on a scroll, still finishing up a letter. I put my pen away and I scroll it back up and I look around. Not as busy as I want it to be. <laughs> That's okay. I saunter over to the bar. Nice. Five minutes late with not a care in the world, you start to feel a little bit of a rumbling on the ground as though something with heavy weighted feet is walking up and bursting through the door. Yeah, right through the door comes an eight foot tall wooden robot, <laughs> uh, a druid warforged uh, named Fernie. Uh, I come in, I burst through, and I just go, alcohol! <laughs> <laughs> And, and then saunter up to the bar and just stop there. And, and I'm looking for who I was supposed to be here with, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, okay. I, uh, Buck sees him and is like, alcohol, nice to meet you. I must be working with you. Oh, sweet, alcohol, great. We no, both love alcohol. No, Fernie. Oh, okay. Whoops. Damn I wish it. it was alcohol. That'd be so cool. Don't get too drunk. <laughs> we have a meeting. All oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I'll take uh, four meads. What yeah. do you guys want? Oh, I'm just gonna have one glass of mead. Four, four meads for the one of you. I'll take a barrel of ale. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You can pay for that, big fella. I've got you. <laughs> I have. I have extra coin. Yes, right. we can. <laughs> sure. I don't know if this is a good time, but I've heard about you. You're a legend. Thank you. Bugs, looking up. I have to look <laughs> so up. Hi. <laughs> I've heard so much about you. You too, Coda. Yeah, Bug, you're the guy who got beat up by that bug, bug. right? Yeah. 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 Is that how the um, name rep? Is that how the name um, That's not, no, that's, it was just a coincidence. Just a coincidence? Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> wow. That is bug and, That yeah. is kismet. Yeah, <laughs> right uh, sure, you could say that. Anyway. You've, you've had two barrels of meat. I have. Okay. Oh yeah, you've been sipping on that while I've been talking, huh? Yeah. Is that what you were doing? I was, I was, I was actively Picking up this barrel and chugging it. Yeah. You absolutely what do you mean sipping? He's just pouring it down. Yeah, I just, I just go, 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 and it's go, go, kind of and I throw it. Falling out. And I don't pieces. worry about where it goes. Uh, you uh, okay? So uh, the ground the below you is just soaked. looks up and is just like and just like blocks it with one hand. Like this is not his first day. Like dealing with a, a bar full of mercenaries. Just keeps on cleaning his cup. Just like palms it and puts it down. Uh, he's just like, all right, that's Chester for you. Yeah, I stand up from the booth and I. Fix my hair again. Oof, gorgeous! Oh my god! You guys ready? Yeah. Wow. Uh, do you guys mind if I take shotgun? I get car sick. Oh, definitely. I don't want throw up in the wagon. I, I sometimes feel weird sitting in a wagon because I am also made, made of wood. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. So I guess that uh, kind of feels. Like yeah. I don't a, know the word for it, but it feels weird. But yeah. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
And standing in front of it is this very stern looking centaur. Mm. Just sort oh, of sitting shit. there, looking around. So attractive. Mm. Yeah, he's, he's got long, black, rippling hair. Oh my god. Uh, really deep voice. Oh my god. A uh, little bit of stubble. <laughs> oh my god. Dolores. Clearly, <laughs> Dolores. Clearly just this I'm sorry. muscular, rippling beast. Oh my god. I just need a tub and to light a bunch of candles right now. Uh, hey, my equestrian-like friend. Are you, are you Gunthar? Hey, flesh elf, yeah. I'm yeah, Gunthar. We're <laughs> For Gunthar, or no, for Coda? Yeah, for Coda? <laughs> for Coda? <laughs> for Coda? <laughs> I'm sorry, are you Coda? I'm Coda. I'm gonna need you to stop him from talking to me. So I'm Gunthar. Hi, Gunthar. Uh, listen, I'm gonna be taking you to the, uh, the Grendel Marshes, all right? I don't want no funny business, okay? My wagon, I wanna keep this thing pristine. Absolutely. Sure. All right. You got it. Absolutely. Can, uh, can, the, yeah. can the little one sit in the front? He wants to sit directly next he wants to, to you. He wants to sit on your hide. He yeah, if you think sick. if you think you can fit. So Gunthar does this huge whistle with his fingers, and around the band comes a horse, which he then attaches to the front of the wagon. Oh. Uh, he then uses his hoofs to climb in the very front and lay like side saddle as he's about to drive. Oh. What? Oh. I am so confused oh. right now. How are we gonna fit with his hooves? Gunthar, you took me for a ride just now, bro. Whoa! Literally. And I thought a wooden road. Him. I thought a wooden warforge sitting in a wooden cart was gonna be weird, but this is, this is actually weirder. I'm sorry, can you just uh, pump the brakes for me for a minute there? Can you look me in the eyes and explain why it's weird that I would be driving a carriage? Well, because the second heart, half of you is a horse. So you would, I thought you were about to, to lead the, uh, yeah. the, the, uh, the hey, lock, in. Um, lock in. I'm gonna hey, need you to give them both hey, a shot. Hey, Fernie? Yeah. Yeah, let's just, let's take a seat let's in the wagon. Wait, okay. What, what spot do you want? What spot do you want, Fernie? Oh, I'll take the back. You Perfect. have to take the whole back. Perfect. Yeah, the entire back. Yeah. So I'll lay flat on my back. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the horse at the front. Hey, hey Gunthar. Um, just don't want my friends, uh, my new coworkers to hear me back there. Um, you, they are like two, they're two feet away. We can hear you, don't Bug. Bug's trying to have a private moment. Bug, we I, can hear you. Bernie, I believe in the first day of a job you shouldn't show any weaknesses, but I'm nauseous as hell back here. Would you mind if I could um, get on your lap? So it's either you sitting on my lap or throwing up in my wagon. Uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for me and see, uh, <laughs> see, what, see what your persuasion's at. Can't believe this is the first roll of yeah, the thing. Yeah, right? 14 plus four, 18. 18. You know what? Yeah. I think I got a little nook with your name on it. And he sort of like rubs his side to sort of just like <laughs> oh. ripple one of his oblique <laughs> muscles into this perfect little cradle for you. And I'm just like, here you go, little fella. All right, here you go. And Bug just lands perfectly. Right. I'm so jealous. And I'm, me and Fernie are looking out the back and I'm like, Fernie, what's that? That is uh, a bird. <laughs> good, good job, yes. Yeah, good, good, great. Bernie, what's that? Bird. Oh, that's a rock. Yes, yes. Great, you're doing great. Okay, oh. now, this is the hard one, Fernie, what's that? Oh, oh my God. Come on. Okay, you can oh my do God. This. Oh, okay, I know this, I f***ing know this. It rhymes with girl. Oh, 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 girl. Oh. That's a girl. It, it rhymes with girl. For, it's a squirrel. It's oh. a squirrel, the one with the bushy tail. The bushy oh, tail. That was, that's totally fair. Girl and squirrel. That's totally fair. I was looking at Dolores. <laughs> oh. Do you like the color yellow? Yeah. Yay! I'm gonna make a huge scarf for you. Oh, sick. <laughs> you get cold? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So does anyone here speak Sylvan? Uh, I, I, I do. All right, so uh, <laughs> one of them turns and you can tell what they're saying. They point directly at you and they're like, you, you, me. You. <laughs> um, one of them rushes at you with an extreme fervor and anger. Does he um, say this in Sylvan or does he say this in common? He's saying it in common in response to their Sylvan. So y'all don't know Sylvan, so you're hearing him hear Sylvan and go, huh. you start to feel yourself feel a little bit better and you recognize this dryad is not an enemy, oh. but a friend. In oh. fact, it's something you wanted here yeah. and it's here to help you. Yes. And <laughs> you really want to make sure this thing is as safe as possible. <laughs> so you can communicate that to your friends if you want, um, but this is how you are feeling. Everyone, this is my best friend. <laughs> Fernie, hey, my dude, that what? thing just I hit you. Just, so. No, no, they're my best friend. Don't befriend your bullies. They're my best friend. Fernie, look at how they're looking at you. 
You don't get to choose your friends. Never trust a woman you that do. looks like You can that. choose your family, but you can't, cho you, you can't choose your friends. The, what? You see, you almost corrected yourself, huh? but then you... <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Oh, Fernie. No. <laughs> Bug is like, this is the time, Bug. This is when you show everyone around you. Bug, we you can are hear you. Sorry, Bug. We gotta get to work okay, here. Yeah. So, um, I'm going to fucking attack this woman with my cross, bro. Okay, do you want to attack the one that hit him or attack the one that was whispering to him? The one that was whispering to my friend. Okay, great. Oh. Um, so go ahead and roll your uh, crossbow to see if it hits. Roll a d20. Yep. Plus two, one, uh, nat one plus two. Okay, so that um, is a nat one. So yeah. um, you lock in your crossbow bolt, and um, <laughs> come on, the, it's come a little on. bit, it's a little bit off of the track. Yeah. And when you fire, uh, the string just makes it like flip and like land at the tip of your shoe, not where your toe is, <laughs> um, just like kind of pinning that shoe to the ground for a minute. So you're, you, you're kind of you're, you're you're stuck a little bit there. Oh, it gets me stuck to the ground. Yeah, you're a little bit stuck. <laughs> bug, bug, it's okay, bug. You. This Bug. But we can hear you, honey. Okay, okay, this does this sometimes. No, I'm still getting it's used nothing to, it's to feel bad ball. about. One in five goblins have executional yeah, error. Yeah, hey, okay. yeah. hey, Coda, it's a new crossbow. Uh -huh. Oh, I totally get that. So, so don't worry. Um, Should you keep the receipt or? Um, return it. Yeah. <laughs> return it. <laughs> Pack it up. They don't even it's care yeah, if you've used it before. Care. Believe me, I it's, return a lot. While I'm trying to like, am I allowed to like rip my foot off the Yeah, ramp? we can say as your bonus action you're able to pull it out, but then okay. that's your whole turn. Okay. Uh, stop looking at me, guys! And I cast Blade Song, which oh for everyone God. happening, when I, I'm so good with a sword that it's almost like I'm singing and dancing when I start fighting. When I it's start gorgeous. Fighting. So, I'm like, uh, don't, don't trust the creepy wooden tree girl. Don't trust the creepy wooden <clears throat> tree girl. And I go to attack it um, with my sword. I look at Fernie. It's crazy to see your heroes at work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suddenly come to, I see my friends in trouble, and I see this fay, and it triggers something deeply innate in this thing. Okay. And my eyes like go dark and then red. And then I'm gonna use Primal Savagery. It's almost like the combat form of this. It's like And then uh, thorns and stuff start to grow out of like his hands and everything. Like everything Amazing. sharpens and gets more intense and he just loses it. And it's more of like <laughs> like, like, like more robotic Ooh. sounds coming out of him as he just starts to like spin. Like his waist, like he's just spinning in like a helicopter running Amazing. forward at this. Um, so roll to hit. Uh, okay. I look at Coda. It's crazy to see your hero. 11 <laughs> plus 5. Uh, 11 plus 5. So that's a 16. So that definitely hits. So you are whirling into this thing, and as it's like looking at Bug, it just looks up and just takes this hit to the face. Um, roll for damage. All right. So that's 1d10 acid. A uh, seven. Go. All right, great. So you do seven damage to this thing, which is a hefty hit. And even though it is uh, itself made of plants, the thorns that you have, something clearly seeps inside of it that just starts to burn at the skin, and it's having a real hard time with this. You guys are watching in awe as Fernie just went from being completely useless to being this huge force in battle, and it really gets you uh, revved up. I have never seen his Holy body just shit. turn. Right. So his core just completely switched around. I, I wanna be honest, I've heard a lot about you and I was so worried when you walked into the tavern and you just said alcohol that you were a dumbass, but you're not. You're my hero, you're strong. Oh, he's, well. he's still in war mode, he's just like <laughs> 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 Bug, you're really playing it cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, if there's any like no, like anything you think that I can do better at. Um, yeah, maybe shoot the target the first time. Okay, Coda. Bug's really trying. Like, he's been trying. Okay, please don't be my mom right now. You know, okay. I don't know what else to be. <laughs> that felt like Amanda being like, well, that's the, my thing. That's my thing. <laughs> oh my God. That's, a, that's, that's what's a, written down right here. It says that's my mom. Character that's game. my character game, honey. Dog, that was the primal savagery right there. Yeah. <laughs> after, after Gunthar walks away, I turn to everyone, I go, you know, he was a really weird looking horse. <laughs> <laughs> Gunnar is like only a few feet from you. <laughs> just stands, like turns back around and is like, and just t says like, hey, he brought us the whole way here. <laughs> 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 <That's> <laughs>
Hello! Hi, guys, um, we're here to deliver. Immediately before you even finish your sentence, <laughs> one of them jumps down from this 15 Whoa. foot tall gate, lands directly in front of you with this flourish and bows deeply oh. and says, welcome everyone, welcome. My name is Rumpum, the greater of the gates. And who are all of you? The greater of the gates? The greater of the gates, it is my official title. I'm the one who greets those who visit our gates. Ah, oh, good social skills. And the greater see, of the gates, you have to understand that it sounds like you're greeting gates. You I know. am greeting you and I'm <laughs> at the gates. I will work on it though. <laughs> he bows even more deeply. Oh my goodness. Um, so you see in front of you, he is about three feet tall. Um, he is like a frog. <gasps> this is very much oh. a little frog person. You need a little lotion on your hands, they're a bit rough. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, no, no, no. He whistles real quick, and then uh, a little guy pops up and he's like, I'm Tomo. The lotion. lotion. Yeah. Like, I could have, I could, no, we could have guessed. You guys are really delegated with all your jobs here. Yeah. yeah. Big on our titles. Do you need some lotion? Uh, no, uh, that frog. And I am Audi. Oh, okay. And he's just like, <laughs> at rum pom. He's like, <laughs> 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 uh, Listen, if you want us to give this to you in the morning, you could have just said that. I did. He did just say that. I said that you were early now. for the delivery. He Hug. just took the toad less travel. He just doesn't want a tip. We are guests. He doesn't want to, doesn't want to give us a tip. <laughs> I want to, uh, can we pump the brakes real quick? Oh God. What was that? Oh God. What was oh one? My God. what? The, the joke you just made, I want to hear it again. Um, I said you took the, you took the toad less travel. And there's just a silence in the air. Holy shit. <laughs> and he just goes, <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden, all oh. at once, this chorus of croaking frogs just <laughs> laughing and croaking all at the same time. The entire city is cheering. They're like, yeah. Like, I get a full-on erection. Coda! 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 We have not had laughter in jollity. your heroes at work. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! We have not had jollity like this in a long time. The festival is tonight! And everyone's like, hey! Yeah! yeah. Welcome to this this mud uh, massage mm. place. Yes. Mm. All right. And so he, he walks up and he's sitting down, but you're like, I bend down, like <laughs> down to his level. I'm like, hey, what are you guys celebrating? Mm -hmm. What was that? Mm? What are you <laughs> celebrating? Mm, hi. I'm Tungo. Tungo? Tungo. Are you Tungo receiver of massages? <laughs> oh my god, you've heard of me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm Tungo receiver of massages and also receiver of pleasantries of all kinds. Ew, that's I, like that. I like that. That's a great job. It's fantastic. It's my favorite. I definitely won the title lottery this year. <laughs> You're oh, crazy. I'm so sorry. You change every year. You're crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, oh, we've all got to have change in our lives, right? That's a cool way of doing it. <laughs> what were you last year, Tungo? Uh, I was the lotion bearer, worst job. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. seems like a bad job. I don't know why that's a job here, anyway. Everything's a job here. Oh? Name a thing. Interesting. Uh, um, hair braider? We don't, well, not that, we don't have hair. Oh, right. But we do use hair to make ropes. Oh, I love ropes. So, um, actually, <laughs> uh, you can see that uh, walking back up to you again is, is the shaman Garland. Um, and he walked up and he said, there is one grave consequence to you showing up early. You see, poor Jumbis here is Jumbis, writer of festival songs. And he is wanting to sing a song to you, but you being so early, he's not quite done. And then Jumbis goes, I only need a couple more hours. And he's like, he only needed a couple more hours. Well, better luck next year, Jumbis. And then sends him right along. Oh. And then also walks away in the other direction. Well, so Jumbis, goes, hold on now, bud. Uh, Look, let's just see what you got so far. You no, know, Jumbis is like, I didn't start yet. I'm just gonna do it tonight. Oh, Jumbis, you gotta get more confident, Jumbis. honey. Yes, you're right. If you're gonna be a musician, just you have to be confident. Jumbis, play from the heart. Hold on, I'll try again next year. That's the nicest thing I've ever heard you say. But what if you get a different job next year, Jumbis? He just like, <laughs> just like <laughs> Bernie, <laughs> Bernie, <laughs> Bernie, <laughs> Jumbliss, uh, Jumbliss, Jumbliss. <laughs> Bernie's a little wasted. Yes. Bernie already started drinking uh, four Bernie. hours ago. Bernie had a full. Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Right. Thanks, Tungo. Hey. No problem. Thanks for remembering. I'm sorry. Can you can you say my full title? Tungo receiver of pleasure. Yeah. yeah. There we go. Thank I you. Lo I love that. <laughs> Thank you. And you're Dolores, woman of respect. Mm. I love wow. this, because you called yourself that earlier, and then I bow deeply. Oh, don't get stuck in the mud. Oh, oh. 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 Why oh. wouldn't I want to do that? And I'm Coda, <laughs> refuser of titles. 
Whoa. You can't oh. give yourself a title. Coda's tough. He's he's my toughest. <laughs> We're not your kids, Dolores. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's all I have. Well, it's all I have. <laughs> I'm a mother. It's all I know. <laughs> you are my kids. <laughs> all right. You know, it's getting to be pretty late. It's almost 1 a.m. Um, 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Uh, are you all ready to go to bed? Oh, yeah. So you can uh, make your yeah. delivery in the morning? Exhausted. Ficus, the maker of beds, yes, is Ficus. just is just livid, and he's just like he's just like walking into <laughs> um, he's just like walking you guys into this like waddle and daub hut, and you can like it's a little bit off the beaten path, but you can like hear um, excitement in the distance, and Ficus is just like here are your beds. Thank you, Ficus. <laughs> oh, okay. Anything else? I would love um, an extra blanket oh for the top of my body because it, it's close to my heart and it gets cold. Oh my god. And okay. so he just like walks out. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later he comes back and he's like, Hi, Ficus, uh, inventor of beds, inventor of blankets. Um, hope you enjoy these. Oh. That's great. And just like plops them down. It's wet. It's, like, it's wet. Yeah, well, it's we don't have those here. Okay. So that just like it's, I had to make it. It's perfect. Thanks. You're welcome. It's, it's giving teenager intern. No, it's, it's giving someone who had a different title and then they said, we need something called beds. And I was like, what are that? And they're like, figure it out, dipshit. I think I got pretty close, kind of, pretty good. but I lost my other title. Hey, Ficus, what? the cool thing is next year you're gonna have a new title, so you only have to stick with it for a year. That's yeah. true. Yeah, what was your title before, Maker of Beds? Oh, uh, Haver of Sex, dog. <laughs> Hell yeah, it was, Ficus! It was Not awesome, anymore. dude, no, it's a bummer. Uh, you went from Haver of Sex to Maker of Beds. 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 That's brutal, because now you have to make the beds I know. have sex And I can them. see the A to B, but I'm just like, can you see why I'm pissed? Yeah. I, I got to give right. pleasure to Tongo. That's a grade A prime piece of meat out there. Oh, yeah. Don't talk about Tungo like that. Yeah. I could say things about Tungo you could only drink. Anyway, thank you so much. Why? Well, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> Woo! Jumbus, dude. Yeah. Don't you have a song? Oh. Yeah, we were told there might be a song. Yeah, Jumbus, you, you can be confident. I learned that last night. I'm afraid who you're talking to is Krakow. You didn't hear the news. What? Jumbus passed in his sleep. What? what? Some say it was of a broken heart. Others, the alcoholism. Oh, But well, no matter for that it? now, it is time Same to make thing. the delivery. Well, okay. Wait. Worry not about Jumbus. But he just died. He just died, happens. Because of us. Not because of you. Did he finish the song? Mm, nope. It sounds like he just drank too many, y'all. Yeah, it sucks. No. He probably just got wasted and he died. This or maybe they killed him Where's because the box? he sucked. <laughs> 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 No, no, he's just quite dead. We, I, honest to goodness, we did not kill him. You can make an insight check if you, if you want. Like, I mean, who cares? He was a sad little guy. This doesn't feel right to me. Yeah, Jump, it doesn't feel right to me. Fourteen. Uh, he is telling the truth. Wow, um, Jumbus. Really he's like, yeah, no, all of us are heartbroken over Jumbus, but he wouldn't want his memory to spoil the festival. Not after all the fun we've had. What's oh. crazy is that before. He went to bed, he talked to me. Um, what? And he gave me the lyrics to his song. And I pull out the scroll that I've been working on for a while. What's your, what's your deception? Um, how about, how about, uh, how about uh, performance? Because I'm in front, of all, I'm in front of all these people. What's your deception? Because you literally are like, he, to he talked to me negative last one. night. Negative one. It's <laughs> negative one? All right, so roll, roll a d20 to see if you are able to deceive and have us believe. 16. 15. Oh. Whoa. Well, uh, Jumbus' final words, we thought we'd never hear them, and yet, you have them in front of you, please. Tell us, will you sing it? Wow, yeah. I can't believe that really happened. Why wow, Coda. Friends are the things that you love in your life. It doesn't have to be a husband or wife. Oh. Friends get you through the times you thought you would ever not. Friends are your heart. Friends are your soul. What? Friends make you more than your whole. Oh. Friends, they persevere through it all. Friends, they never let you fall. I just have tears. 
<laughs> Throughout all of that, Fernie was in the back like, Fernie, 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 you're, no. I would say that's one of the most beautiful songs I've ever heard. You're an excellent singer. I, I am afraid I must give you a new title. You are Coda, lyricist of eternity. It's not me. It is. It's Jumbus. Mm, okay, I forgot. Oh, then they, <laughs> yeah. okay, excuse me, back and be like, then I'm overjoyed to hear that Jumbus died with a new title. Jumbus. Lyricist of eternity. Oh. And everyone starts to cheer and bow at the same time and be like, there will be a new statue. There will be a new statue. Oh. Oh. You start to realize, maybe this isn't it for you. Maybe the hero life was a bad call. And maybe even among the trickiest of goblins, maybe you don't have what it takes. And as you start to make peace with that thought, you hear a pounding of hooves. And looking down the dirt pathway, through the fog and the mist and the, and the dust of all this collapsing infrastructure, you see hooves. And as it begins galloping through, you look up and see a second pair of hooves not moving. We have Gunthar riding the horse, charging into battle. Gunthar Lance riding the horse? Straight through, I said what I said. And he lances straight through Garland's forehead and just spears him and impales him. Oh shit. And says, come on, we gotta go. Okay, he oh, goes, oh my Bug god. Bug goes, I was about to do that. He grabs your right hand, whips you onto his back. He's like, this is the one time this happens. Bug goes, and wee! <laughs> he wheels around to the to the wagon. Um, all of you bolt to it. I drop down from the tree. Bang! Bug I launch Gun out of the ground, just like, Gun far. Bug goes, guys, I found him. I found him for you. I did this. We were, wa I was watching from up in the tree the it whole time. It was really hard it to watch. No, you guys were all the way down. I told, I threw them off your case. We heard, it elven was, ears hear everything. I didn't really see sad. anything. Yeah. I was underground. Uh, Gunthar takes you to, let's be honest, it's the equivalent of a gas station. It's a little outpost <laughs> um, where there is um, a single long pole and on that pole is like a perfectly rotund, very grumpy, like old man looking bird. And as it sees you, it starts to rhythmically go like, rrm, 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 rrm. and Gunther's like, ah, oh, that's right, we got a message. So he reaches into the fluff of this colossal bird and pulls out a scroll and he's like, for us, the bird's like, rrm, and flies off. Ooh. Hey, oh, friend. Yeah, what's up? How can I help you? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was wondering if you have any meat or spirits. Me and my companions me. need in the spirits. Oh yeah, let me uh, let me check out this real quick. And then he like dips down. You see him like throwing a bunch of shit over him. And then he like pops up with a bottle and goes, Whoo! and there's just a bunch of dust oh. and moths that fly oh. off. He's like, yeah, this is a uh, wine. We forgot what <gasps> to call it, but uh, we call it the purple grimace. Mm. Oh. The bug goes like, there's so much dust in my eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll take it. Yeah. Red wine? Yeah. Is it a uh, full body? It's purple grimace. Oh, okay. It's purple grimace. Got it. So it's earthy. Wow. Um, Okay. All right. Purple I don't grimace. know. Give me um, two copper. Oh. I give him two copper. Great. You Serious. have. When did you get two copper? We all have money. You'll have a little bit of money in your head. But. Your head. I think you, you have you're, a gold. you're gonna have two copper. Would you like a scarf instead? No. That's okay. two copper. I'm okay. gonna give him two copper. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks. Just yeah. we need money. We need. scarf is worth so much more. And then I take the purple grimace and I pour. Is there cups? Oh, you want cups? Yes, please. Sorry, that's one silver. Oh, my one don't silver. Just do it. Okay. Do you want, would you like a beautiful um, uh, uh, mitten? Bug takes the bottle and just starts chugging it. Bug. Uh, oh, get, take it, Fernie. Fernie takes it, takes a swig, gives it back to. And bug. it all just. <laughs> and I just like <laughs> try to grab it from underneath all the holes that it's coming out of. Oh no! Just and I take some it. too. I'll take the last drips. <laughs> Great. Well, I'll. Hey, so it's actually it's are, actually not that bad. All of you are sitting with this for a moment, and after about thirty seconds, the alcohol starts to hit, and it is the most vile, putrid. Like this wine was bad before, and now it's old as hell, um, and not aged, old. So you're just sort of wallowing in this feeling of just sort of being a little bit off, and it's making you dehydrated, but. It is still a little bit of alcohol, and it takes off just a little bit of the edge. You're not happy about it, but it's getting the job done. I'm like dripping sweat. 
I'm, a little purple ooze is coming out of my mouth and out of my eyes and out of my ears. Oh, oh yeah, my that'll, that'll happen. That'll do it. So listen, uh, you guys need anything else? You need rooms? You need snacks? What do you need? Rooms. Rooms, rooms yeah. Yes. Great. Um, that's on me for adding in the S. There's one room. Uh, four cots. That's fine. Cots? Yeah. It's like a bed. Oh. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be four silver for the night for all four. Jesus. Years. Well, look. You are a money machine, huh? You walked into a store. You're right. You walked into a store and are asking right. for goods and you're services. Right. I'm right. out. Okay, everyone, cough up one silver. Well, what if I did, what or if what if one, one of us did a little per, like a little something fun for you? Oh. Well, I put in a bunch of work to make these rooms nice. And Room. I'm sick of your whatever that you're doing here. Do you want to spend four silver or not for yeah. a nice night's rest? Yes. You keep Fine. saying rooms, and it's room, it's right? It's one room. Okay. Okay, but is there an extra room? There's Just not. Maybe? Okay. It's four. It's four people in a room. It's Dolores, perfect. you didn't even want to pay for one room. Well, all I have is a slip to wear. I don't have cute PJs. <laughs> It's we just have us. You don't need to look cute, Dolores. I don't need to look cute, but I need to cover up because you guys are sick. Hey, uh, Fernie, just... Fernie holds out his hand, uh, like a thick compartment shoots up in his wrist, and, and four silver pieces land in his palm, and he just slams it down. <gasps> oh. on the... Thank you. And he just you look like it. an arcade when you did that. Oh. And then he grabs Bug and just like lifts him up, puts him on <laughs> his shoulder, and just walks. <laughs> As y'all are walking away, the like gnome just grabs the keys and is like, and just yeets them at you, and it just lands like perfectly. Oh, oh no, no, great! Of you course, just yeets Coda. Shink. Coda grabs it, not even looking. So swift, so suave. Uh, y'all open up the door and see actually probably the most luxurious room you've seen. Oh in my world. god! Four incredibly like immaculately decorated cots with like four perfectly laid out sets of PJs, all brand new, <gasps> freshly pressed and washed. And as you turn around, you just see him go like. Oh, you okay, were right. Well, thank you, you thank for the you. PJs. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Okay, good night. Good night. I just slammed the door on him. Yeah. God, my thighs are so sore. Anybody? I'm gonna do just a fun little backflip. What? Up We're not to the up stairs. The door. <laughs> up to the stairs. Well, they're huge, and I actually get further with a backflip. So I look to the woods and I backflip. Up the stairs. Up so the for, for any, I'm sorry. Here. It's okay. There, there aren't any stairs, but you can definitely backflip just like in front of the door to just like show <laughs> off. In front of a door. I I say bye to Gunthar and then do a backflip and turn around to see if he saw it. Uh, Gunthar is uh, uh, just sort of like. <laughs> I love that. Did guy. you see it? What's up? Sorry. Age ain't I, nothing but a number. <laughs> All right. A word in the hand is a word in the sand. Let's yep. knock it's on the door. Fernie, All right. Fernie walks up to the door and he, he goes like this and he goes, Fuck, I totally forgot. The code? How, what was, I, someone else <laughs> did. I forgot the code. Knocks. Knocks. Uh, that's just too much. Okay, I that got it. That is way too you much. You got it? Dun, dun. Oh. So there's silence for a moment and then you just hear like a, <laughs> and you just hear, Oh. I back like up from heavy, the door. heavy footsteps, but quicker go, than you'd expect. Dolores, stop wanking your thighs again. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me this time. And then I do a backflip away from you. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've got Guinevere, and he points inside, and you see, uh, <laughs> you see this beautiful, uh, majestic unicorn that's like sort of perched up. You know, how, like cats tuck their hands and their <laughs> legs underneath their body. This one's doing the same, but it's missing its front left hoof. Oh, um, hoof or leg. Uh, for like from the knee down, is like missing the front left, oh. and um, you see that like uh, Tillip also has a bit of a an injured knee. Oh! So he's just like, yeah, I've got Guinevere in there. I can't keep leaving her. She's getting old. I'm getting old. I gotta take care of the poor girl. Right. I don't want to get old. And Guinevere is your wife. Wife? Oh, my responsibility. I found that eunuch. No, not a wife. Oh my God. So Guinevere I, is, is your. People can have daughter? relationships that aren't just sexual. It's also not a relationship. Which is I guess weird. you could say it's, a, it's a pet or something. But <laughs> okay. it's, no, I found an injured I'm sorry about them. We're just I don't know what you lovely. are. What? Guinevere. I mean, Guinevere is a unicorn. Futterbolg, unicorn. Got it. Pet. He's a robot caretaker. animal, so I don't know. lines are blurred for him yeah. naturally. Oh, Look, sometimes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sometimes I'm confused. Can we come in? Hey, you can if you'd like. Can I walk up to Guinevere and, and try to talk to Guinevere? You can, absolutely. Yeah, great. Um, so I want to go up to Guinevere and just be like, how, so what So what happened with the, the leg? <laughs> so it's... Oh, God. <laughs> so what's, Have what's you ever talked to well, a woman before? Well, first let's start with this. 
Hi, my name's Guinevere. What's your name? Oh, I'm Fernie. Hi, Fernie. I like her. Uh, why are you all messed up in the way you are? Don't they uh, have your feelings? Uh, no, I, I am pretty messed up. <laughs> I, I was a relic for thousands of years, and a bunch of woodland creatures built me back together with what they found in the woods. You know so. what? I admire your straightforwardness and your ability to accept yourself as you are. So, I see where you're coming from. Well, you see, I was being attacked by a band of monsters out in the woods, and this kind furbolg saw the attack, and he went right on past me, and he made his delivery, and he came back for me. Wow. Hmm? Also, I saw, we saw two birds eating each One other cup. and throwing each other up in, in these woods around mm -hmm. here. What is that? What's, what's going on there? <laughs> what's the, did you never have a talk? No, was that burning. sex? I think so. Oh, wow. I've never had it. Same. Mm. I don't think I can. Same. I'm over there. <laughs> yeah, you guys just like, uh, 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 and we're just, just going. <laughs> right. uh, what kind of Elder's Blast did you make this time? I squat down really hard and. <laughs> <laughs> a hard squat. A little fart. I do a hard <laughs> squat. The tiniest little fart comes out, and I look up, making sure no one's looking at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at We're me. We're all looking at you. <laughs> and I, I engulf a flame from the fart, and I no. wrap it in my hands. It's like a Dutch oven. And I Dutch oven apple pie it. Towards this wolf Where that is just apple pie pissed Where did the apple pie? pie? Where did the oh, apple this pie This Dutch come oven in? is apple, she apple, apple pie. Little like pieces a of apple pie. Are you saying the fart smells like apple pie? It. She apple pied him. I farted and I put it into a Dutch oven, turned it into an Elder's Blast, and I'm what? throwing it towards the wolf. You do you know what a Dutch oven into is? a Dutch oven? Do you know? Yes, what I is? do. I have been Dutch oven under blankets. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> So my ex-husband Dutch oven me a lot. Uh, Dolores? That's this is why Dolores we're done. Or Amanda. This is Dolores. Okay, great. So this beast <laughs> takes this Eldritch Blast and somehow ah! it is almost as bad and painful and damaging yeah! to it as the uh, as the sword from <laughs> So the Okay. So the wolf takes this blast to the face. And it gets it like right in the nose, and this is somehow almost <laughs> as damaging as Coda's sword that cut into the like artery that's down there. It's a fart. It is. <laughs> it's covering its nose and just like wailing, and you can tell that even though it is not as damaging as the sword, this fucking hurt its feelings. Um, this <laughs> fart hurt has hurt its feelings <laughs> real bad. Um, yeah. It is not particularly happy. Um, but it does have this moment of like, <sighs> like looking back and forth and just breathing heavily and just like. <laughs> Just like gasping at air around it. I want to cry. I really want to cry right now. Okay. Um, I've been here before, but you know what? I have a fart brewing, and I would love to let it free. I would love to let it free and well, save my friends. Dolores, I have great news for you. Yeah. Uh, it is your turn. We don't oh, need your fart. Goodness gracious! I'm gonna f you up. I'm about to do some hellish rebuke. Ooh. I'm about to f you up. Hellish rebuke, <laughs> hell yeah. And that's a dexterity save, I think. Do not f with me. Oh, shit. <laughs> she's gonna she's, fart in his face. Fuming. I've got a fart brewing and I swear S to God. The, the smell tendrils are coming off of her. <sighs> okay, so hellish rebuke is a reaction, meaning you point your finger at me and, uh, excuse me, at the, uh, at the beast, and uh, we get to see if it's going to survive. Pull my finger! <laughs> So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> this thing did not roll high enough to save, so roll the d10 twice for me. Holy it is going to take fire finger! damage. It's going, is this all, your thing now, is it all farts? Yeah, it's all farts. Just for right now. <laughs> I, I'm not feeling well. Okay. It's the grimace. Six, Six. damage, okay, and then Six. one more. <laughs> Sorry. Three. Three. Okay. <laughs> pull my finger! You're yelling, pull my finger, as you point at it, but it's a strange thing to yell because 
fire is shooting out of your finger and blasting this thing in the face. You see its fur start to catch. You see its face start to burn away a little bit. The, the lacerations from the arm and the shoulder and the poison from before are taking its toll and it's starting to slow down a little bit and clearly get a little bit woozy. It's going to this like primal rage where it's just fighting for its life and trying to take you down with it. That's right, mother Um, I just want to make sure the air is pretty clear. No, we're good. It's just you killed that thing. But should I not have killed that thing? I, I don't know. So if you were in my position, would you have killed that thing? I was in your position and I didn't. 12 damage from Kodo. So what you're trying to say is I should just copy whatever you do. You just said you're trying to copy whatever I do. I said I'm trying to learn from you. Mm. You know, if you guys wanted to both get on my thighs and we could hug it out. You know what? I hug without like your thighs. thighs. Dolores, I'd love a thigh hug. Oh, great. Dolores picks him up and just shoves him in between her thighs and she squeezes as hard as she can. Just Ew. a reminder that Dolores is about three feet tall and you're about six <laughs> feet, so this is a very uncomfortable this thing to This is watch. just your ankles are in her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> Feel better? Much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Coda, Bertie. I pop out of the bathroom. I'm just like, hey, pretty cool in there. Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> Want to join us in this kitchen area? It's really interesting. Plates are coming at us, and we have to fight them. And if you're a featured creator, you get a bat. Shut up. Oh my god. Okay. So sorry. Do you want to come in here? Uh, sh sure. Just get in here. Okay. Coda. Can I hear them? Sure. Coda. What? Do you want to come in here? We're getting attacked by dishes. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode, y'all. Please watch the other episodes. Bye. Bye. Over near these beautiful stained glass windows is a shadowy humanoid figure. And it turns around and makes direct eye contact with you. What do you do? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> come into the light. Don't well, go. Do, 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 that was very demanding. Honestly, oh, I okay. She said what she said. Well, she he's said in the dark, and I can't see his face. No, it's very dark. That is fair. I'm sorry to be so mysterious in this castle here. Allow me to come into the light, as the beautiful woman has said. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, she's gonna get horny again. Love this. When is she not Library. Horny? God, books just open me up. Mm. What? It takes up 30 pieces of gold. Oh. Hands them to you, Dolores. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to the, the cash. Well, clearly, as the leader of the group, I will be giving this to you. <laughs> 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 he was just saying that because I was holding it, I, you know. And you're very bossy. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Thank you. guys, this feels wrong to me. What? Uh, are you being distrustful of a robot? Because that's. That is that's kind of right. Kind of I'm gonna so unplug. That actually Stop. is a little. I'll, I'll plug back. Up. What? Yeah, yeah. No, no, don't worry. I, I, I've, I've, I've got, I've got this. Uh, come on. Bernie, that's not what I said. You <laughs> no, know, does, I just. It does feel like you've been friends with yeah. Bernie for a while. Right. Uh, the year is 847. Like yeah, we're like, past I mean, like, that now. On, okay. Right? He is. He is clock and books. You are Earth. <laughs> Very. Well, different. I'm wood. What and, do you think? And I think. I think. Books are made out of the same thing. Thank you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be listening. No, what I can't listen. I don't know. I don't read. My name is Gaspard. I am. Gaspard? Your name is what? Gaspard. Gaspard. What's your name? Kudu? <laughs> is it Kudu? <gasps> Koda, okay. just give me a shot. Sorry, yeah. Gaspard. Come on, just Thank give you. Him a Go shot. ahead, Gaspards. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, is the prince all right? Yeah. Yes. Both of you rolled a seven. <laughs> Five. Five. Plus. 11. Minus one. <laughs> Four, oh, that's 16. weird. You I trust with my life for some reason. Uh, well, okay. You say jump, I'll say wear into the dark. Oh. But you, okay. you're hiding something. Tell me what is going on. Well, we, we ran into like a wolf type thing. Okay. And it was trying to kill us. And it was not friendly at it all. It was not friendly at all. Okay. And I tried to tell Bug not to kill it, okay. but Bug did kill. Okay. I tried to reason with it, but Bug just fucking beat the shit out of it. Right. Okay. And Wait. Bug did do the last, you know, downswing with on. With a huge hammer. Bug it, beat I, its brain down. It is true. Bug's day. Bug got their moment, okay. and they absolutely murdered the crap out of it. Okay. <laughs> 
It was okay. awesome. Fernie. <laughs> okay. All right. First of all. No, ta- own this. Yeah, you got that was your moment. <laughs> I this think, is your moment. I think. <laughs> this is your moment, Bug. You shouldn't uh, don't downplay uh, your accomplishments. Uh, okay, so uh uh, uh, and you didn't even realize it was a prince. Uh, no, stop. Wait, congrats on your moment, and then what else? We Did murdered the, wolf kill the prince. We murdered the prince, and Bob oh, the wolf did... isn't the prince. What? Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. No, Ooh. the wolf is not the prince. The, okay. the wolf is a town pervert. You have done us a great favor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Completely, Wait. completely unrelated. What you're girls. saying is totally different thing. Bug, I put down my 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 satchel and I put down my hammer. And I go. So what you're saying is. I'm a hero. Sounds like you get all the credit for killing the town pervert. I, t- you I did took it. down the town pervert. You did it. And you, and you both did a, did a good job. You did a great job. I also um, very much said that you did a fantastic job, Bug. Bug's in the corner and I'm just like practicing with my hammer. I look at Bug and I'm like, sloppy. <sighs> a really intense eye contact with Coda. It's like, I'm looking up. And now I want to invoke duplicity. Hell yeah. Do I have to roll? No, I just, just can't. Tell me. Okay. What does that look like to you? What okay. Are you doing with it? So, after I break eye contact with Coda, I see myself, and there's a mirror image of myself, and I have my hammer. Now I'm just literally zoning out, and Coda's not looking at me. So now I'm gonna fight myself, and okay. suddenly I'm fighting my ego, and I go, <laughs> and again it's sloppy, and I look at myself and I go, sloppy. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> and I go, you're sloppy. You're sloppy. You're a hero. You're sloppy. <laughs> And Dolores just walks over and she puts her hand on Bug's shoulder and it's the wrong Bug, it's the other one. And she's like, ah, I don't like that. And then before you know it, Bug is. I don't get how he just falls asleep in full clothing. (laughs) He didn't even go to his room. I know. He's standing. I know. I'll put Bug on my shoulders. Let's go. His bo- his bone legged <laughs> legs. So just go right. He's the only other small, small person. You're <laughs> smaller than Bob. His bow legged legs just like <laughs> slip over my shoulders. Roll athletics for me. <laughs> it's been a long day. Nice. Nineteen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Plus one twenty. She's a okay, mother. So I'm a mother, honey. Dolores literally just palms bug <laughs> like from the back and just like straight up walks like. I go, <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, good night, guys. And he just stands there and also just like, <laughs> That's crazy. So I toss Bug to land right on his bed, just the exact same land. <laughs> good night, fl- Bug! As I fly in my bed, I go, I'm a hero! <laughs> <laughs> Is Bug a honk shoo, honk shoo, or a uh, honk me, 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 me? It's. <laughs> It's just one continuous. Uh, just it never ends. <laughs> you uh, don't breathe in, in the whole night. In, in the morning, it just goes like, ah! <laughs> Dolores, you're hiding so much of yourself. I've seen your Eldritch Blast. What apples, bits of cotton, a fart, cake. <laughs> <laughs> the fart was, um, was it was, yeah, I it was real. It, <laughs> it was So. Don't cry. Oh my God. That really is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Mine is my story. Right. Can I give you a hug? No. Oh, okay. And we leave our scene on that. All muscle. We move on over to another room. That one. (laughs) Fernie, Fernie wakes up and he's just like, oh my God, I have an idea. He walks over to Bug's, Bug's bed and he like walks up to Bug and he like leans, leans in. <laughs> bug, bug, <laughs> bug. What? Bug, I just had the craziest idea. We fight everyone and become the best fighters in the world? That's pretty cool, but I have an even better idea. Yeah, what is do it? Do what I do. Okay. Whoa. Has no one ever played patty cake with you before? No, well, yeah. I mean, you don't know what money or a toilet is, so why should this This is so me? crazy. This is the most eventful thing that's happened on this <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Yeah. Those, those losers. 
guys are probably asleep. They're probably just asleep doing nothing. We <laughs> can't tell them that we're bonding like Let's this. Let's never tell them that we had this huge character development moment. <laughs> <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'd love to take this moment and just let you know, I think you're the strongest. I don't even know what you are. I don't know if you even have a method to how you move, but I'd love to just, uh, just you know, move like you can. Well, I guess all you have to do is replace all of your body parts with like wooden, <laughs> wooden robotic parts, which is what a bunch of woodland creatures did for me. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that won't work for me. All right, but thanks. Okay. <laughs> he holds out this contract. Uh, do you all, what do you do? So Fernie, this is a pen. Uh, yeah. Quill, yeah, I know what to do with this. Bernie walks up, he grabs the quill, and he just he he sits there scribbling. And then when he walks away, it's just an impeccably drawn tree. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's very tiny, but it's just perfectly detailed, like fully de detailed pine tree. Bernie, is that your signature? Okay, I take the pen and I draw. I like scribble, and it's a sun. <gasps> and I take the pen and I write in the most beautiful old school cursive, Dolores Paradise with a little flower as the eye. And I take it and I uh, um, I write in bubble letters, hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, the... I have to add one thing. <sighs> and a little cute slice of pie. Ech. All right, this what did I do? legally binding document with all of your actual names on it <laughs> is complete. So <laughs> Gaspard uh, looks over to the uh, ladder. Like it's, it's a typical like sort of sliding ladder on one end of the bookcase. And he grabs it, he says, when you are in the light, and then it stops immediately because that's <laughs> as long as the bookshelf is. And he's like, well, there it is. Take a look. I'm looking at the books and I'm like, any of you guys want to fight? <laughs> Anybody One of them pops its head out and is like, no, not me, <laughs> and then pops back in. Ooh. The books can talk. Only I can, it's a very lonely life. Wow. <laughs> I am neither dead. Can I ask that book a question? We. Oui. Oh, great. Hi, <laughs> I have a question for you. Mm. We are looking to break a curse right. for this, for our friend. I know that dance. <laughs> I don't like anyone here. Can I open you up? And read your contents, or can you tell? Wow, me? madam, rude. Can I see if there's any, um, you know, information about the curse in your book? You know, when I was cursed and transformed into a book, I was curious as well. Where, oh, what would be written inside of me? I had someone look. It's a bunch of pictures of organs. Spooky. So you're a medical book. I guess. I look at Fernie and I go, oh gosh, Dolores is gonna be so horny for this book. Yeah, so, he's gonna anyways. Wanna, she's gonna spread that book open and blow its back out. <laughs> <laughs> and you look over and Dolores is just like, her hands are just rubbing the back and the front and she's just going. Whoa, that's not, whoa. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay, so soft. Ugh. What did you look like when you were a human? <laughs> well, and that is a hearth hag. Okay. Um, and you see the description. They are terrible fiendish beings that seek out babies in order to turn them into more of their kind. These are known for setting up domiciles and building locations out almost as nests, and they can use them to spawn children of their own. Oh shit. Huh? Um, Is this a nest? You guys, it's just like, um, oh, I was about to say alien. <laughs> it's just like, it is just like alien though. You guys, it's just like, uh, um, what's like, bees. Bees do that, don't they? Do bees do that? Ants, ants do that. <laughs> do what? Uh, well, they they take prey and they make a mound and then they take prey back to the queen and the queen feeds on the prey. <gasps> oh yeah, like ants. That's. But Ernie, she does roll, this. Roll with... a nature check for me. Sixteen, 16. plus uh, sixteen plus um, uh, two. Oh. Two. So Coda saying this awakens something in you. And we get a solid two minute monologue <laughs> about ants. So yeah, so ants, the way they find their, their burrow and the way they, the queen gets created and all this stuff and like, and like 
yeah, a montage happens. He's so as he as he drones out and is explaining, you all start to realize that this was maybe the most apt <laughs> yeah. metaphor that Coda could have ever dropped, and Fernie is a wellspring of knowledge. And, and that's how ants. That that was actually that really was incredible. actually incredible. Sorry that we keep saying actually before we compliment. Yeah, you. that was actually uh, that was incredible. Actually, incredible. Yeah, that was you're actually you're a, you're a good person thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm friends with a few colonies. Okay, so <laughs> if hag like, witch, it's all a woman. Oh my! <laughs> I bugs. do not. No, sir. I, I am a uh -uh. wooden robot, and I am offended. I smack, <laughs> wow. I smack bug across the head. And no! Oh, I'm sorry. Doing unarmed strikes. See how much damage it does. <laughs> Four. That's a four. Uh, so Coda, being incredibly strong as Coda is, um, and maybe fueled up a little, fired up a little, toasted, a little fiery from last night, uh, gives you a solid whack in the temple. It's four damage wow. to you, Bug. Four damage. It's four damage. Oh. That's not how we talk about women, Bug. That's true. I have never been more proud, honestly. Thank you. Of course. Bug, no hug this time. <gasps> no hug for a bug. I want to hurt you. <laughs> okay, well, I'm already having a rough life. <laughs> okay. So why don't you uh, fulfill your contract? Ask me questions, whatever oh, you want. I get you up and I'm like hat. holding my cheek and I'm like, bug, don't act like it hurts. And then I look at you and I'm like, I've re never realized my name rhymes with a hug. Oh. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I did. Don't do anything to the flower. I was tasked with this job to keep the flower safe. Gaspar. Look at it all you want, but oh. Gaspar, protector of flowers. You're a frog. No. You're a frog. No. That's a f***ed up thing to say to no. a French guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you told <laughs> us you were I know. Cut it out. I know. Above I'll board. It's out. funny. <laughs> I've never liked you, Gaspar. Whatever the f*** your name is. It's you got it right where you left it are these shards on the ground. Shards of these uh, plate and a cup. And around them in a circle are so many other plates um, and cups right at your feet. Um, and now you can hear what you couldn't before, just wailing and crying. Um, oh, I and hate they, this. And they look up at you and a little cup just goes, ah, oh, what the f <laughs> Oh, why? Why? Oh. He wanted to sing his little song for you. That's all he wanted. Uh, what the? Oh. F okay, 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 okay. They could be. They could be sad about another one of their. Maybe it was their We're grandfather. We're so sad that the prince is dead now. Oh, oh. oh. Um, oh no. You look over in the corner and there's a teapot just going and just uh, like shooting tea uh, everywhere. Oh, oh god, <laughs> I, I can't watch throw up. I, that's why I wasn't a nurse. There's, I've never seen a teapot like. White girl wasted before. <laughs> oh. uh, it, it, it lands in a cup, and the cup is just like, Bleh! and just like pours oh, it out God, again. Oh God, two um, girls. This is really one. Crazy. That's not <laughs> even the first reference in this series that has been that. made of that video. God damn. <laughs> um, so the cups are looking at you like, well, we had that so many years to prepare a special song for visitors. And um, one of them, uh, one of the castle mages from back in the day, shows an illusion in their hands, replaying exactly what happened from their perspective. <laughs> so you enter this door, and then um, all the plates are shaking, like I said, just shaking, shaking. And uh, mainly the one up in front, and this one goes, Go on, it's okay. You've practiced for so long. He's like, oh, but I am so nervous. And it's like, No, you've got this, our prince. Lead us. You have the solo in the song. You've earned it. It's like, We've earned it. So they take each other's hands, they walk up together as a pair, and then they start to launch into it. You are here! You are here! Ah! And just like shatter into dust with shards on the ground. And it was like, oh my god! And all the plates are shaking, shaking, shaking as you walk by. And when you raised your hammer at them, they stopped. It's a new thing we made up. I had no idea that it was a performance. I thought we were getting attacked. By a plate? Yes! Or what? What or is even the worst case scenario of a plate? But also, I think it's. I think you should give us the benefit of the doubt. How are we supposed to know that the plate was an important, was an important monarch figure? We well, just thought it was a play. I guess when but, you say it like that, you stopped our royal line. Oh my what god! The f oh, okay, wow. my heart is truly broken. I'm so sorry. Give him uh, your, give him your, your pie. I'm so sorry. Want, that's my job. I carry those. I can't give him a pie. <laughs> They're a plate that's broken. What's the point? Well, I thought I didn't know a plate could be a king. I didn't know maybe it's a plate. 
you are so lucky that Elizabeth is stuck in the kitchen as an oven. Elizabeth, because no one is there to tell her anything about her betrothed. <laughs> Oh, she was betrothed to a To the prince, to the dead prince. So she's the oven? Wow, great choice. Of course, always right. make us the big object. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm having a day, okay? Uh, it's okay, she plates it here. And then Fernie's just like, she plates it Fernie, here. Fernie, no! <laughs> Bernie, no! He goes to the door, he's okay. like, just kidding, I'm just kidding. I think there's nothing we can do but apologize and walk out. I, where? Apologize, apologizing is not going to put our prince back together. Look at him, his body is over there, and his body is over there. Can I ask you a question? You just did? No! Why is everyone in this house annoying? <laughs> what? What I'll tell you we... what, if everyone in the room is an asshole, you're the asshole. Shh. You killed the prince! Okay, <laughs> what are you gonna do if the prince is dead? Is there another person in the, uh, or is it done? Not really. No, the prince is dead. What about Bertha or whatever the f her name Elizabeth? is? Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> he was a very special prince. He was marrying the commoners, not nobility. Of course, the commoners and her last name is Girth. Great. Elizabeth is her first name. <laughs> okay, well, even worse. Her last name is St. Trash. I <laughs> hate <laughs> this place. You know what? I'm I'm ready to go because we killed the prince and you know what? He probably was a shit man. He was the most perfect man of all. Oh God. Maybe he was the one good man. He I don't was. <laughs> I'm saying. Okay, let's just apologize and leave. Should we let Eliza Girth? No, I hate that. I don't want to go talk to an oven and apologize to it. <laughs> I've already been slapped by my hero. I wanna go home. We can't go home, bug. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't have signed this contract. Maybe we should have just delivered the thing and gone. We haven't even gotten into combat yet, and I don't want to do this. Stop. Hey, pull it together, <laughs> Can Dolores. Don't. You dare slap me. Dolores. Roll to hit, because bug is not distracted this time. <laughs> you should slap Bug, stay. Just snap slap. out of it. 15. That hits. Holy shit. Holy shit, that hits. Snap uh, out of your it. Your damage. <laughs> roll your damage for a d4. Meaty hooks. Three. Mm. All right, Jesus so you three damage to Bug. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. That woke me up a little bit. Great. Okay. Can we go? You're right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Um, and they start to slowly stitch themselves together in a way that you can tell the plate was broken. You can very much see these breaking points, but they are now once again connected. Prince! <laughs> Is that what he sounded like before? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> but what the f did you do to the prince? <laughs> but he is he's alive! <laughs> My work here is done. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know what, what that is. That? I'm just gonna walk, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn to everyone and be like, be like, this will be our little secret for now. It'll be funny. You say don't, that to the cops and uh, plates? Yeah, I'll be like, don't, don't tell them. It'll be a fun little surprise, because they all think that the prince is dead. Roll intimidation. Okay. <laughs> My intimidation is like, hey, come on. We'll keep yeah. it a secret. Uh, that is a one. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, let's keep this little secret. That's a natural one. Uh, so, Shane, they look at you and they're like, you know what? No. I am going to tell everyone that I know. In fact, I'm going to invent a new method of communication just to do it. Or my name isn't Jacques Telegram. No. Uh, <laughs> and Ferdy, Ferdy looks at them all, <laughs> and he just like this. He just goes. <laughs> he leaves the room. Uh, door just off its hinges. You just walk through. <laughs> what is a cistern? Cistern. Oh, wow. Cistern. Cistern. Well, you know how you can have like a cistern or a brother. And... Uh, why did I, I ask? I don't. Okay. Mm hmm We yeah. have a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I definitely know what a cistern is. Great, what is it? No, I, I know what it is, and I'm gonna tell Roll you. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> that's a four. Minus one. Okay, so that's a three. Coda, I would like you, with the most bold face possible, to tell everyone here what a cistern is. Loud and proud. Come on, hero of mine. Hey, tell uh, me what it is. Uh, suddenly something <laughs> opens up in Fernie's chest that, or like in his like lower abdomen, where it's like this one of those like readers. And it's like, 
<laughs> okay, um, a cistern is someone that you kind of hire to do the work for you for free that identifies as a female. Cistern. Like intern, but cis. Bernie, when it goes really high, does that mean he's telling the truth? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what a cistern is. Well, I know what a cistern is. It is a Please place. Please roll deception. Oh no, you don't know either? I. <laughs> so it's another four? It's no. a six okay. plus five, 11. Okay, make up whatever lie you wanted to lie. So a cistern, pretty easy, pretty cool place. Um, it's underneath castles normally, and it's usually where holy men come together to say prayers and read the Bible and um, you know, basically shoot the shit and smoke cigars and uh, connect with the Lord. And I've never been invited <laughs> ever in my life. And it's, uh, it says sister in it, but it's a lie. Oh. Well, the 90s lie detector test on Fernie seems good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so given that 90s lie detector test, um, you all believe her. So now you know you are looking out for a, like a church lounge. Okay. Uh, you know, like a castle, like church lounge. Yeah, I okay. looking for that. Um, I love a church lounge. Seemingly from out of the ether, completely invisible, claws appear and behind it a horrible, horrible looking woman. Green skin peeling off, bubbles and boils everywhere, white wiry hair, and she slashes at your face. Um, let's see here, that is a six, okay, so that's definitely gonna hit. Yeah. And she does, six, she does 10 damage to you. So she catches right on your cheek and hits a couple vital points. Um, immediately, the, the thing that is next to her rushes off in the water as well and begins getting some distance from you. What? It whip everybody today and hitting my face. Do you want pie? <laughs> no. Uh, so um, Fernie is first going to uh, summon Beast. Oh, great. Uh, so Fernie, like, uh, they, they're like, they like do this. Their eyes shine white and all this stuff and everything like goes Ooh. crazy. And then like this beam shows up in front of them. Great. And then this small little beast nice. shows up. A very pissed off raccoon. Okay. Just a very, a very chubby, uh, but but oh. pissed raccoon. Okay. Great. Uh, very fierce. Um, fantastic. Um, so you've invoked this beast. So it takes its turn after you. Yes. And now it's the raccoon's turn. Yes. Yeah. Name him. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so Reuben the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's like, he's like, what's up, guys? Some All right, it's me, Reuben. How's it going? Woo! All right. This hag's going down. Yeah! Here we go. He, he, he runs on two feet. He does not He does not run like a raccoon. He's like, he's like all right, let's let's. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just a guy. He's just some guy, but he happens to be. Amazing. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna go up and he's gonna he's gonna like start trying to <laughs> try to get, try to get this. All right, hag. roll to hit uh, as he's trying to get him. All right. This is the coolest thing I've ever that seen. That is a 12. Damn. Plus, uh, let's see, what do I add to that? That's a 12 plus six. Oh, great. So Damn. rolled an 18 that does hit. Roll for damage because okay. this raccoon is the first one to hit the hag. All right. Time. And uh, let's see, so uh, hit is 1d8. All right. Uh, that's an eight. Eight, oh, that's great. Uh, 1d8 plus four plus spells level, uh, so that's a level two spell. 1d8 plus four plus two. All right, so that is 1d8, uh, you rolled eight plus four, so that's 13 damage. <laughs> yeah. Um, amazing. Wow. And amazing. he has multi-attack. Ooh, that's <laughs> actually Ruben's wild. Ruben's crazy. Uh, it up. So Ruben's like, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruben is, uh, yeah, uh, laying down the law. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit again. Okay, okay. For that multi-attack. Uh, that's a one. <laughs> so uh, Ruben is just walking over and batting at the hearth hag, uh, just doing some major damage, and then he just sort of like turns around and is like so stoked. He's like, hey. He tries to hit her again and just completely whiffs it and falls over. Uh, just sort of like, <laughs> like, in the, uh, like two inches of water, even though he's a spirit. Why not? Why not? Um, great. Um, next up. Wait, uh, <laughs> Bug just watched that whole, Fernie just do that whole thing and the raccoon, and I just went, it's crazy to see her. Here's, it's crazy to see her. <laughs> Ruben's like, <laughs> Ruben's just facing, like, <laughs> just, I cast True Strike, 
and it's like a light beam directly at uh, the hag. It's like a laser pointer. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's nice. like Wicked meets Star Wars. It's like Wicked meets yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Then I uh, cast Blade Song, and it's like. And it's like nasty, nasty EDM that fills the nice. cistern. Stinky. I have never liked this music. Ruben's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. His okay. little tummy just. So, <laughs> so go, Coda, given that that is your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, we now get back to the cockatrice. Um, something that's supposed to happen now that I didn't just remember is Ruben's here. <laughs> and Ruben. Should have gone a couple of bits ago, but He's he was still maybe just alive. biding his time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what's Ruben do, Shane? Uh, Ruben's like, like he was he was floating in the water, and all of a sudden he's just like, ha, ha. <laughs> and then he, he gets there, he's like, he's like, all right, no, second wind, second wind. <laughs> all right, here we go. Uh, you hear no bell. <laughs> I hear no bell. Hear no Let's freaking go. Uh, uh, he kind of since he's a spirit, he just suddenly has like boxing gloves on. Round like, three. Like, 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 go. <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> he looks up. He sees uh, Fernie has the the hag yeah. in his mouth, and he's like, he's like, oh sweet, easy target. Just go right, like runs right up to the hag's face. Mm -hmm. And he's like, all right, get him, get him, give him the one, two. Is this claw? Room. It, it is a technically claw, but he's got gloves on. So he on, poops but... on the gloves and does he take one off? <laughs> he's like, he, he poops on the gloves and he goes up and he's like, he's like all right, I'm gonna take these. Off. <laughs> all right, let's go. <laughs> uh, that is a five. Plus five to hit. Um, he does unfortunately whiff against the hag. So he's like, all right, go. <laughs> Good thing I got another locked and loaded. <laughs> oh, did he get two hits? He gets multi attack, okay. yeah. So he's like, all right, on, here. Ruben. Second one, here it comes. Uh, so, okay, that 17. one definitely hits. He's like, all right, that was just a tester. I'm just feeling out the area in front of me. Here I go. Now here's nice. the real one. So that's. Jesus, Ruben. Uh, it's a two. So that's yeah. a seven damage against the hag. Yeah. Um, so this witch that's been living comfortably in the cistern for maybe 500 years, we're not sure, um, is now uh, having her ass bitten by a gator or crocodile of some kind, um, and just uh, being beaten up in the face by a raccoon ghost. Yeah. And even though, uh, you know, again, hags in D and D are different than witches. Um, she is actually like a fiendish creature. She is like a demon of some kind. Oh, um, <laughs> you see for the first time a little bit of like confusion and fear enter her face yeah. of just like, this has been a really weird day. Mm. I know that face. Mm. <laughs> I know that face. That face comes to me once a month. Yeah, that face comes to me once a month and it lasts a week. Oh no. <laughs> what? Can I use my mage hand to bring Bug a slice of pie? Because I feel like if I start walking, I might get attacked. Oh, I love that. That's such a good idea in a combo of things. So Mage Hand, um, yeah, yeah, let's say that. So uh, okay. these pies we said, so good berries do heal, I think from one to three health. You baked it into a pie, let's say it, it can do one to four now. So what does this Mage Hand look like to you feeding Bug some pie? Because Bug is like half under the water. Oh, this Mage Hand is stunning. It's gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. Very, very, very pale skin, yes. has not touched the sun. Mm -hmm. And if it did, it wore SPF big time. Sure. It's beautiful, long, long fingers with these gorgeous long nails that right. kind of feel like they're not me, but I wish I could, you know, rock that hand a little bit. You know what? It's like you the can. inner, inner, you know, <laughs> dangerous side of me. Okay, I love it. So this Gorgeous. dangerous hand. We're seeing this like <laughs> oh, Enderman like, yeah. hand. So out. this hand comes over, Bug, <laughs> and so you haven't been able to see much, and if you are able to open your eyes, it's sort of muddied up with like this murky water and a little bit of blood, and all of a sudden you just see a little bit of light peer through the water, and you think to yourself, is that Dolores? Kind of. The nails, um, are, this, the nails are red because she's a little And nasty. they're so long and she's so nasty. So this, this hand uh, dips through the water and with long, long nails starts feeding you sticky cake through the muddy water. Um, and it smells like coconut, but doesn't taste like that because there's SPF. And you know it doesn't taste like that, but 50. it smells like it. 50. Anything under doesn't do anything. Trust that me. That hand is you're half, <laughs> you're half awake and all of a sudden you feel, oh, uh, so let's see here. You restore four health bug. So. Even after all that, you are now back on your feet. Does the hand stay there? Does it retreat back to you? The hand stays there, but the hand does a little, since I can't be there, I tell it, give a little, give a little love. And the hand gives a little, uh, <laughs> gives a little like pat on the head. <laughs> My mouth dry as f 
cake with weird <laughs> berry <laughs> pie. <laughs> and water, it's like moist pie. Bug, yeah. this is an extension of me. You got a mouthful of moist, son. <laughs> but it's my dirty side. It was. In my brain, I'm what? Like, I hope, I hope Bernie and Coda aren't seeing my life come back with a piece of pie. Uh, Bernie's Bernie over here, going, he goes like, where do I go? <laughs> <laughs> so, Fernie, it's your turn again. You got a hag in your butt. And excuse me. What? You got a, sorry. You got a hag in your mouth. You got a hag's butt in your mouth. Ooh, uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna just. I'm gonna try to like release it and then, chomp, like yeah, get, the a, get, a, chomp. get a full chomp. Do it. Take do it, off one of the cheeks. Here we go. It's a ham hock right on there. Cheek. Uh, that is a six plus five. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that one does not hit. But the good news is, it's Ruben's turn. It is Ruben's turn. And Ruben's, Ruben's there, and he's he's ready. So Ruben's like, all right, let's go. I'm still here. Uh, swing and a boop. That hits for sure. Seventeen, yeah. Go bam. for it. So he gets a good good swing. Now he's going for an uppercut. Nice. He's just like a swa. Then he he's just like a sweet old uh, swing. That's a seven plus five. <laughs> nice. So. Uh, this hag is having the worst day of her uh, almost done life, uh, not doing very well at all. Um, she's starting to get dizzy, a little bit woozy. There's a little bit of hag blood on the ground. Um, yucky, icky, Yeah, sticky, really gross. Yucky. And it's oh. like touching on my dress. My dress is getting like some blood all over it. All right, that was Hall, it's time for Oats. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the two famous bards. Uh, that's a seven uh, plus five. So maybe that one misses. That one does miss. So he's um, like, ah, oh, whatever. You know, I don't, I didn't need that one. As this uh, chromatic orb opens up, you can see the reflection of the the hag's eye in it, and all these memories of 500 years of servitude in this castle start to whip oh through her mind. Um, you know, looking about it, thinking about what she's done, and she has this one moment of smiling, and she just laughs this <gasps> evil witch laugh of like. Ew. <laughs> as you jam this chromatic orb in her face, and she crumbles <laughs> to dust. Okay, she deserved that Yeah, shit. she really she did. To the very last Yeah, the she very saw last her breath. whole life flash, and then she laughed. Like, I don't remember him. <laughs> so the- Apecho, does this mean we did it? You guys did it, basically? I know I basically shot the bed, but <laughs> we did it? I will clean that up later, by the way. Um, I really shut the bed? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you, a you lot. Had a, you had a rough day. I think you had some like poison in your system. It's it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, however, oh. yes and no. Um, so she is gone. I believe everyone else would probably be back to being humans or whatever they were before the curse. Um, but everything in the castle has um, shifted and changed. Uh, the castle is not like a castle castle. It's, um, how to describe? Um, it, it, it looks it, different now. Uh, what do you mean it looks different? Uh, you should probably look. Okay, so the thing I almost died for right. and looked stupid in front of my heroes for right. is is just, uh, it's not around anymore? Oh, it's definitely it's around. It's around, but we have, sure. to find it. we have to find it. Is is the mimic controlled by something? Something magic? I, I would have to assume there's something uh, acting as the main core of the mimic. Is just as every house has its hearth, and every house has its uh, Great. heart. You must find the heart of the mimic. Great, Gaspard. Um, Great. real quick. Um, so. Does that mean that we can find who's controlling the mimic in this house? What's controlling the mimic? What's controlling the mimic? I mean, I would sure hope so. The There's core. got to be something that you can poke you, with a sword. Or you and I would never have a relationship. I swear to God. Under walls or something. I just I missed that whole thing. I'm sorry. It's just like I don't. You've got to be able to kill something. So I think what's controlling this house is magic. You're telling it's me <laughs> that this giant castle with giant tongues sticking out of it. With every room moving around at random. Yes. Is magic? Yes! It seems crazy. Yeah. Well, guys, this looks bad, but at least it's not a turtle dragon that we unleashed on the world. God. You know, if you think about it, this is the second second worst thing that we've done in the past week. Yeah, it seems very close together. I'm like, I don't are know we... what we're doing wrong. Are yeah. we the problem? It's us? Mm. It's me. Get out of here. <laughs> we are doing exactly what's being asked of us. Maybe we sort need of. to start doing what we ask of ourselves. Yeah. Did somebody step in shit or something? Yeah, did somebody steal something? Or did or did do any of you have any bad omens or anything? Because it feels like the second we started this, 
Nothing goes right. Well, I don't, yeah. <laughs> huh? No. You are in the dining room from before. Ugh, I hate this room. I know, you're gonna keep coming back to it. I don't um, think I've been in this room. Not really, no. Okay, I'm excited. So, you now see that what was once a long table of plates and cups has some plates and cups left, but there's a lot of villagers there. A lot of villagers you haven't seen before in their human form. Are they naked? Oh no. No chance. Oh no. They're not <laughs> naked. <laughs> okay. So you are all looking around and you see a bunch of villagers and one of them very much stands out to the rest. Oh, oh no. no. His face is the most beautiful, pristine creature you've ever seen. A strapping young man of age, I'd say around tw mid 20s. Um, just a little bit of stubble, um, sort of open, ruffled, like poet shirt, long flowing, like strawberry blonde hair. And he is standing there in this beautiful pose. Mm. But you can tell from the neck down, everything is stitch, 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 all cobbled together. One of the villagers, uh, a little guy with a mustache and a cap, uh, maybe mid 40s, turns around and goes, Well, 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 look who it is. Look who's back. The troublemakers and the new guy. Troublemakers. What did y'all do? Hello. Haven't you done enough damage yet? Well, we didn't know uh, people, you know, it was just a plate um, attacking us. And I fixed, I fixed him. He looks and great. You yeah. made him way worse. He keeps begging for death. And you look over and oh, no. um, what is clearly the prince just turns to you and goes like, ah! Oh no. No, we are heroes. <laughs> that makes me really upset. You could have gotten married and had a life. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. And hearing this, he uh, flies in a, a fit of tears. Well, looks like the shoe is on the other foot, which you put on backwards. What, what? Nothing. Yeah, that's right, nothing. Okay, look, all we wanted to ever do was put on a lovely performance for you with the prince as our lead. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he didn't get to do that. And they look over to the prince, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> If we are going to mercy kill or let him live as he is, he deserves one good performance. So no. either, no. well look, yes. either, either you fix him. No. Either you fix him and put him back, <laughs> or you let him sing for you and you give him the life he deserves. You have been spinning all over me, sir. All I know is the prince's willpower is tied to this castle, and he wants what he wants. He's like, <laughs> he's like, probably, yes. So the next door to the next area, what you thought was the kitchen, won't open until he gets what he wants. That's it, our current running theory. So either you fix him, or you perform with him, or let him perform. I don't know, he needs to be happy. Is, the princess is in the other room. Well, she's a commoner, but if they get married, she will. Oh, be a okay, of course. Just... Elizabeth. Still... Elizabeth. Oh, okay, Elizabeth. Like you have name. to say she's a commoner. Yes, Elizabeth Saint Trash. She's beautiful and works with all of the. You guys are nightmares. You're a nightmare. You already knew this information. <laughs> you're so... you're having a tantrum right now. Okay, we need to. Okay, we have you're options. My friend. <laughs> I don't want to see him perform. <sighs> I kind of feel like we have to though. His willpower is tied to this castle. What if that like heals something in the castle? I, I'm always down for performance. I love m live music. You oh, do? I don't know if it's gonna go well. You <laughs> have you done live performance, Bernie? Um, no, but I can summon creatures that can do live performance. Okay, what if if one of us joins him, it'll probably be less, it'll probably be more stomachable. Okay, person with the lowest roll joins him. Hey, Kelwick, if there is a new soul, for this prince, I ask that you give him one. Goodbye, Kelwick. End of prayer. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. I like that you pray like you send an email. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is an eight, and so uh, Chance, you gave her advantage, right? Yeah. Great. A 13. All right, so um, Bug with a 13 through the help of Coda. Just thinking, thinking about it, thinking about stuff. You start to see, um, a light uh, surround the prince. And it's not the brightest, and it's not the holiest, but it's there. <laughs> and you see the prince just sort of like <laughs> And all of a sudden, his body jerks, and he sort of looks around at his hands, 
and, and questions them for a minute. And Coda, you looking over to this, you see that light mm -hmm. behind his eyes. Mm -hmm. There's something there. And he looks over to this party of four and there's some recognition there. And a huge smile creeps across the face and says, I am Rampam, the greeter of the gates, and it's so lovely to see you again. Yes, no, no? Oh. Good, bad, yes? Hello. It's Rampam? Yes. Is that? Or? Who was sent? I was, I so recently got to the afterlife and they just shot me on back. Oh, oh great. What did you do? I'm gonna have to relearn boundaries. Wow. <laughs> I am Rumpum, defier of death. <laughs> and now you're a, a person, you're a human. Oh, How does that feel? dope. I thought you all got shorter. Oh God. This is cool. It's I... like when an ex finds you wherever <laughs> you go, you know? I can't wait to see Rumpum, Dolores, and whatever animal you become perform. <laughs> oh. Oh, sorry, you wanted me gone for a minute. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of depth to going on here. I'm gonna need a quick rundown, real quick. <laughs> um, so to catch you up to speed. Yeah, I need a new title. <laughs> this is all different, I'm telling um, you. Yeah, you're in the body of a prince. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wouldn't uh, be the first hat. No, it is. No, no yeah, it definitely is. Don't be crude. No, I used to be a surgeon. Oh. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, Rum Pum, your only job is to just, you know, talk less and just hang. And you do have a performance coming up, so. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so, side note. So, hold on. I've <laughs> so, arrow through the head. Remember that very briefly. Um, afterlife, every religion is wrong, just so you know. Real weird, real different. Uh, I'm back. Tell that to your god. I don't think that's true. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's my title? What am I doing? I want to help you out here. You're my best friends I ever had, but it's... What are we doing? Your title is Prince, okay? Prince of... I remember the name. It's, it's San, Sans... 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 Okay, that's great! Oh, Sansibur. I remember that. Okay, we did Good it! Good job, Fernie! Hey. You just unlocked a memory. Wow! Yeah. So I am warming up my voice right now, getting ready to perform. Uh -huh. That's what you have to do. We are going to perform in order to get out of this room. Stops right there. Yeah. Yeah, still not attracted. What the f***? What do I gotta do? I'm ripped, look at me! No, I'm down to help you and then unlock the door because we perform good. Sure, okay, and it's a dance? Uh, I think it's more of a performance. Yeah, with song. music and song and a little clown work. You've got it in you. <laughs> a, little, a little miming if you have it. A little <laughs> Comedia dell'arte if you will. Yeah, a little visual, little visual arts for you. A, a variety show. Yeah, with oh. a water feature. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like a song and dance, man. I can do that, all right. Uh, okay. Okay, Great. simplify it. Amazing. Sure. Well, no time like the present. We're just gonna drink our water and try not to spit it out. What we see are four weasels show up and they they, they get summoned up. They're wearing like white t-shirts and button-up shirts. Uh, the lead <laughs> singer has glass, like black glasses on. It's like a classic, you know, guitar. One of them has a bass. One oh, of them's got a drum yeah. Set. Yep. The lead singer's like, what's up? We're weasel. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Is that yeah, a joke? it's a Weezer joke. <laughs> okay. God, but it's Weasel. That's that was yeah. pretty good. He yeah. thought about that for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> that was our lunch break. Um, there okay, you go. So there you go. You had, you had Death Leopard. You had Seal. What is wrong with you? Oh, just Seal. Well, well I also no, I think you like great. Weasel. No, or Fer Beatles. Fer Fer Fernie's like listening. He's like, look, I, I, there's also another band where the lead singer's named Dave Mole. Uh, uh, there's just Pitbull. Yeah! <laughs> Do you want me to, I can take Weasel back no, no, and throw no. a pit bull. I weasel. would love a little pit bull. Okay, we can, <laughs> I can throw World a pit bull as well. <laughs> a no, fifth one? Go with your first hits. I no, think Weasel. All right, Weasel. Weasel's, Weasel's, perfect. So Weasel's weasel. out there and they're like, all right, man, Like we got good songs, man. People love us, so I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so we got four Weasels and a, a horrible tree robot. So Dolores, you, um, have, have bitten off more than you can chew. Oh, um, that's what they say about all mothers. But trust me, I'm, I'll survive. They sure do. Um, you've bitten off more than you can chew, and what you start doing is um, 
not bad on its own, but like because you're doing all of these things at once, it's a little confusing. It's a little avant-garde. It's a little sad. Um, whereas we've seen you be athletic and acrobatic before, you're kind of just like you're kind of just like stuck in these silks, and you're just like wet, and they're like damp. You're just like ah. But can I have a big and smile on my face? Yes, you got a big smile, and you're trying your best to perform with this uh, uh, whistle, and it's not the most pleasing sound. Um, <laughs> let's put that together. Okay, and I'm watching this at the table, and I'm like, I'm like cringing, big cringe. So I'm gonna, for the rest of the villagers who are watching, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion, and uh, in front of them, it says, this is your brain on mead, <laughs> while they're doing whatever they're doing. Okay, that's, okay, great. That's yeah. awesome. Um, and I think everyone is staring at me, clapping, I'm like. <laughs> and Weasel's singing a song called Cork and Meads. Yeah. Great. <laughs> oh, great. Um, so, Fernie, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in this moment? Uh, can Fernie, uh, Fernie has the front of his chest like kind of opens up and then like a wooden uh, xylophone appears and he, yes. he like takes out things and starts like trying to play them. Great, awesome. No, so you roll Not to the rhythm of anything. You roll performance check, please. That's, an, that's, a, that's a 10. Another that's 10. also a 10. So again, Jesus. like, not with any particular <laughs> rhythm in mind, but you sure are hitting the, blo the blocks. Uh, you're doing it. You really are. And then finally, we have Rum Pum. Because um, don't worry, I'm not just going to do this to you. Um, Rum Pum. <laughs> you guys. I rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> Rum Pum rocks it. So Rum Pum uh, sees this uh, and looks out at the audience whose face is just sort of like, because they're seeing um, these horrible beasts that they watch murder their most beloved monarch um, uh, just get up on stage and just sort of start like wailing and hitting shit. There's four ghosts, um, and then uh, the body of their like desiccated prince hobbles up to the front and is like, all right, uh, here we go. <clears throat> These are the nights that you wish you were here. And everyone's like, oh, 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 cool. And the audience starts to cheer and laugh and yell. And it doesn't matter that everything else is really weird and uncomfortable because it's working out great. However, Coda and Bug, you two sort of have the um, the burden of knowing that like these are your friends up here and this is not the best they could do. And because you're so focused on that, um, the, the sound coming from the xylophone and the, the silks and the whistle and the, and the weasels, uh, they're all kind of messing with your brain a little bit. I need you both to give me a wisdom safe. Bug, um, you are looking at this like shambling prince body with the soul of a frog man in it, just sort of wailing as all these things are happening behind him. And all at once, this kind of just hits you like, what the f you just did with your day to that man, uh, you killed him, you brought him back, you put the wrong soul in his body. <laughs> You're starting to feel bad. I'm gonna need you to roll 2d4 of psychic damage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we know we're inside a giant man. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two plus four. You get like six psychic damage. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm actually really not. You get a little bit of a nosebleed. Oh my god. You should have performed. It's way more fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's great. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe prayer doesn't work. No shit. Yeah, uh, the performance is so bad, you start to question your uh, belief system. Oh, shit. Um, now, Coda, uh, yeah. people are looking at uh, this sign and say, uh, you know, they're like, "This is your brain on me." Mm -hmm. um, and and the chef, the chef in the room, mm -hmm. uh, looks toward it and then looks at you and goes, "Oi, mate, is that true about me?" Yeah really poisonous for your body and it's addictive and it's a depressant and a lot of people don't know that. Oh, I need to stop drinking forever. And he puts down the bottle and resigns himself <gasps> to never drink again. But he did it cold turkey. Let me roll real quick. Oh Fuck. shit. <laughs> that is a seven. Okay, so uh, he starts to like shake and go into withdrawals. Oh the whole my audience God. <laughs> turns around at what this shaking you know? sick man. <laughs> This is you guys solving puzzle room number one at this shaking and Whoops. sick man. Um, is he just like sputtering on the ground? They're just like, uh, he, he, they don't know what's wrong. Nobody knows what's wrong. Coda, you're an agent of chaos, <laughs> dude. Oh, Coda, was, what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Coda, you should come up here. I didn't do anything. Yeah. Oh, I you wish you were a frog. Where's my water feature? <laughs> um, <laughs> This is a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. It does feel like Courage the Cowardly Dog. I throw up, I throw up Pitbull. 
All right. <laughs> just Pitbull. Yes. Can you describe, yes. Dolly. Can you describe Pitbull? Pitbull, Pitbull just, it, it just like, just like it just, it's literally a Pitbull on all fours, but With sunglasses, sunglasses. Right. and a chain. Yeah. Uh, bald. <laughs> fully bald. Just no fur. No fur on the right side. here. But fur right here. Right. Just that. in a goatee. Just, 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 <laughs> just dark fur right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, Mr. 305. Finally, my music. Right. Yeah. Gonna roll a 305. <laughs> Um, Let's suddenly, turn okay, that so negative to positive. Mr. Roll five. Bernie, uh, your mind is suddenly filled with images of Miami. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> maybe you're out of energy. Maybe you, you know, not having the whistle kind of threw you off balance. Yeah. Um, but like, you are, uh, you, you do that thing where you kind of like slip down the ropes a little bit and fall, but you like catch yourself at the end, but you're dunking your hair in the water, but you went like too low and it's like kind of in your nose. Like, ha, 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 <clears throat> and you're kind of coughing it up um, on the front row and they're like, yay. Um, and then uh, Pitbull uh, does great. You start to hear like the reggaeton, like as he's like rapping how he does. <laughs> yeah. You pull out these turntables, not connected to anything, so it's just two discs of wood on other wood. You just feel like yeah. <laughs> as you're just scraping wood blocks against wood blocks. Um, so that's a little bit rough. And then Rumpum <laughs> rolls a ninety. I swear uh, to God. Rumpum. Wow. Um, so Rumpum does uh, an awesome Pitbull style rap along with Pitbull. Hell yeah. Coda and Bug, you are once again listening to this and between the scraping of sounds and watching this old lady <laughs> just fall into a puddle of water and waterboard herself, I need you both <laughs> to roll. What the hell? I need you both to roll wisdom saves again. What's going on with this shaking man next to us? Oh, he's dying. And so you are headed to the door and you're just gonna try opening it? Yeah, I'm gonna try opening it. Okay, um, it opens. Oh, <gasps> so we didn't even need the performance, you guys. Well, no. we, well, I, I did. You know what? It was more for you. Thank You're right. You. So fixing the prince's body made him really happy, and making the prince oh. happy was the stipulation for opening the door. Um, but it was very nice of y'all to also decide to perform for that audience. We could have just <laughs> after I made this man. Run Nobody from. checked. Pimple starts to pee, and then he just goes. <laughs> It disappears. <laughs> <laughs> that was, that's he did do that once. I saw it. Did, it. it was did weird. do that. Um, I have a, 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 I have a hand axe. I have a boomerang. I can use the boomerang and the and sword. sword. Okay. I said go for uh, it. So I, I take out the sword Wait, and the boomerang. Before you use it, should we do that really vulnerable thing we did that one time? Yeah, I was just thinking that too. Let's make sure no one's looking. Okay. Um, roll. Right. Both of you roll deception. <laughs> to see if you can just stealthily do this. Four. Uh, uh, 10 plus four, 14. Awesome, go for it. Okay. okay. I don't think they're looking. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. That was awesome. <laughs> what did she roll? Uh, 14. 14 and then it was a four. So um, you look over and um, Coda and Dolores are like looking up from the pool, staring directly at you. And then you turn around and there's Kevin the moth and an army of other moths going like, sick, dope. Nice. <laughs> oh, shit. Patty right. cake. Patty cake, yeah. No. That wasn't what you saw. That was the thing. That wasn't that. That was, um. <laughs> I got a crowbar and I have bagpipes. Use the bagpipes <laughs> like two, the two, use the two things. All right. Okay. My unseen Chopsticks. servant is going to, I'm going to hang on to my unseen servant. They are going to grip the bagpipes and I'm going to bring them down. They're going to use Fer Fernie two Fernie sees things. this from across the room. He's just like, you had bagpipes. <laughs> During and you didn't use those, those during the performance. performance. I can't do a split and do bagpipes. I needed only the whistle stick. I know myself and my own strength. I know my limits. You didn't need to do the aerial stuff. Yes, I did. No one was doing a visual. Over the course of our, our adventures, I have learned frustration from you guys, <laughs> and I am feeling it right now. Well. Welcome. Welcome, yeah. And just sort of looks up at you for like extra commands. Like it's it's out there in the water just underneath. Great job, Gina. Now bring the bagpipe <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> Great job, honey. Bring the bagpipe out of the water and drop it. I'm so it up, glad she has a name. Plops it down. Yeah. Unseen servant is It felt great. like an unpaid intern. Yeah. All right, Gina, Coda. Shing. Slicing. Yeah, respectfully, spin around. Yeah, okay. Respectfully, let me see that ass. Respectfully, let me see that ass, buddy. That's wow. 25. Thank 25. That Thank is a you. net 20, crap. making it 25. And they look at you in the eye, Dolores, and they go, whoa, you never told us about your hot mom. Yes, yes. 
Today is my day! There's two of us! Is that um, your first Nat 20 of the campaign? <laughs> I think maybe. After you say oh, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. That's what Dolores would. Yeah. Crush. Truly. So these guys um, <laughs> do like a little turn around and wiggle, and then as they both get to like the part where they show you their backside, they both immediately turn around and look, and they say, "He's the thick one." The guy goes, "I'm the thick one," and they say, "And that's the door." And they say, "And that's the door." And they're like, "You didn't detect magic. It wasn't sealed." We just wanted to show you how took us is. And then they high five and do an awesome thing. And they're like, sup, slime? Um, and then, awesome. uh, that's Which it. Which door did they point to? They point to the smaller one. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So we, that's the door. So does anyone know what just happened? So he's like, all right, let's 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 jam. And then uh, <laughs> the, the all of a sudden next to him, uh, like beams of light appear. And two uh, brown bears wearing backwards caps and sunglasses. And they they like skateboard out, yeah. and they're both just like, "Yo, what's up? I'm Rip, and I'm Dip, and we're brown bears, and we're freaking cool." <laughs> uh, Their animal uh, friends are uh, so cool. <laughs> on top of that, uh, Fernie just goes, "I know," and then he starts to transform, and he fully transforms into a brown bear as well. Yeah. Brown what? Bear. Okay. So it's three brown bears just ready to go, and they're nice. like he, he forms up, and then they all are just like, <laughs> and they all like pose, and it's really that is sick so as hell. rad. That is pretty yeah. sick as hell. I wrap my bag around okay. me a few times so it doesn't drag while I'm fighting. Okay. And I put my two braids and I tie them up around the top of my head, and I just start to do a couple squats just to get the thighs fired up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I look at everyone and I go, I love you all. <laughs> You're gonna see some fucked up shit about to happen. Okay, I love that. Okay, I guess if we're preparing, I'm like going full Super Saiyan and my hair's like flying up. Ooh. Sand is like circling me, little flames around the circle. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, and like one of me pops off, one of me pops off, and there's another one, and we're like, ooh, ooh, no, ooh, it's like pitch perfect. Oh god. Yeah. There's three Coda and we're one Adam Divine. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I've fire. got the ma magic. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, if we're doing good. that, can I cast my mirror image? If we're doing yeah. that, yeah. we're doing that. Exactly if we're doing that, we're doing, doing that. that. Okay. This is the this is Avengers <laughs> Endgame. This, right is Avengers, now. this is Avengers Endgame Losers Edition. Okay. So I get my I get my the mirror losers. image. The losers. That's our name. <laughs> so I get I get my mirror image and I'm like, "Hey mother a lot of shit has changed, but now we're embracing prayer. Let's go! <laughs> I don't know who said it, but someone said that it feels like every time something bad happens to us, something worse happens to us next. And it feels like this is this has been all in leading up to this moment where we claim that and we say no. Right. That's right. Claim back our power. We're the authors of our own fate. Or story. Or story. This is crazy. There's three bears in the room. Yeah. Multiple codas. I was expecting Fernie to respond, but I guess he's a bear. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> sorry, I'm in bear mode. I kind of influenced by rip and dip, and man, you know, I think about it, it's freaking shreds what we're doing. Oh. And rip is there just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Guys, let's get it. Let's get what is owed to us. We signed that contract. We're in a house of tongues. Let's fucking do this thing. We fucking deserve so, this. House of tongues. And as you start to let yourself think, potentially this could all go away, you hear something in the distance, a jangling in rhythm. And you see this flowing black hair and this uh, this this tan skin, rippling, you know, abs, and it's Gunthar, yeah. and he's wheeling around in front of you toward the horde mimic. Yeah, I barely have a voice, but I go, boy, do I have an update for you. <laughs> so Gunthar looks at this horde mimic, and then turns around to the rest of the group, and says, "I'm afraid that update's gonna have to wait." I can't let you do this. He holds up his blade to you guys. And that's the end of this episode of Sword AF. Please join us next week for the thrilling conclusion of this season. Never trust your exes. <laughs>
<laughs> Dog, y'all never dated. What? Oh, that's embarrassing oh, for you. Well, we, we had conversations. We <laughs> dated. You want to You never made it past the talking so stage. Bad. I have a question. Sure. I look back from the window. I'm like, okay. So you're saying that all of this, the important thing is money. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. So, uh, you know, we've been doing all this stuff for money, and I, you know, we've gotten some money, and that's cool. I still haven't figured out, and I'm asking genuinely, because I'm very confused. What does money do? <laughs> it bought me this purse. Because if we can't kill this thing because of money, then I, money must be pretty important. So what, what, Gunthar, what do you use money for? Money makes this world turn. Not the one I was raised in, mind you. That was a time where your name could get you whatever you needed. Your actions could get you whatever you needed. But it's not that way anymore. I mean, my God, we're a delivery service. But what if we were more? Bug walks back and joins the group. I mean, here's the thing, guys. I'm the same Gunthar you knew. I agree with you. And I want to return to the Age of Heroes our way. But it can't just be us five. It can't be. There's no way. It's not enough. We're talking about a whole world that's changed in the time that we've been doing what we do. But you can. It has to start somewhere. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's I'm always saying that. that. I, I don't want to eat, uh, eat an elephant. It's a figure, how do you start a journey? One step at a time. I eat a bite of an elephant. I do like that, yeah. What would that even look like for us? Well, we one of us would start chewing at the feet. Not the elephant, no, Fernie. Fernie. Oh, what would it look like for us to change everything? I mean. Well, we'd start by beating the shit out of that thing. Yeah, what yes, is this mimic We were right so now? close I to was, it. Rip and Dip over there were doing some damage. Yeah. It's like. Gunther, you haven't even met Rip and Dip. Or people. Ruben, for that matter. I don't understand what you get from coming here at the at just right when we started getting our footing. Purpose. Another purpose. Yes. Um, so Gunthar pulls out a scroll, reads something off of it, and on the ground appears a portal. Out of this portal, um, hops, who you haven't seen in nine episodes, Krongdar. Krongdar the orc, uh, your handler. The one who oh, gathered yeah. you all in that pub all those, all those week ago, and he pops up. He goes, "Hey, what's uh, what's going on here, Gunther? You're supposed to summon me for emergencies, big guy. What's uh, what's going on? Hey, you four. Looks like some uh, damage has been done here to the uh, heart of this mimic castle. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. So I don't really know how to give an official two weeks notice, but." Oh, I'm quitting right now. <laughs> yeah, we're all um, quitting. quitting. We quit, and you can take nothing because you didn't give us uniforms in the first place. So we, we quit. quit. But I am still gonna beat the shit out of that thing in a second. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me uh, three. Interesting. So you guys actually got a, a lot further than I thought. So you unleashed the mimic castle, which means you beat the witch, the hag that was here. That's great. You um, knew about yeah, the hag. You knew. Oh, buddy. <gasps> We Come were on. set up. Listen, you unleashed a turtle dragon into the world. You unleashed a mimic castle into the world. You guys don't miss the Age of Heroes at all? Listen, without problems, there's no cycle to anything. <gasps> Gunthar knows this too, and he taps on Gunthar, and Gunthar sort of looks down, and you can tell he's very much like defeated, like someone stronger than him is next to him telling him what to do, and he can't really look him in the eye. So you can only be called a hero by those left alive, and you better pray that those who survive are glad that you survived too. Now hearing all that, and seeing everything I gave to you, you still want to quit? Is the portal still open? Um, it is. I want to push him. You want to push him? All right. I um, him love that. Go ahead and roll athletics for me. Seven. Krungdar has a plus 10 to athletics, so that was nine plus 10. So you rush up and you put both your hands on him with as hard as, hard as you can, and there's just this gentle clink. And he looks at you and he goes, ah, Coda, that's a nonverbal answer, but I like you. You take action. That's great. <laughs> it's cute is what it is. But the problem is, I need a villain. 
I need a villain to come out of all this, right? We need more conflict. I mean, this thing has already leveled villages as it's walked over this whole, you know, countryside. And I need more of that. Someone's gonna hire me to stop that. Someone's gonna hire me to fix all this stuff. So what are you gonna do? Find me another villain? I don't think so. I'm sorry, you guys. But you guys are gonna see a side of me that you might not like. Uh, the side of you that did Ariel in that pool, <laughs> I didn't like, so. Ah! Yes. See this amulet that I've been wearing? There's a dark side. I have a deal. Oh. No. Don't look for too long. It actually really hurts your eyes. Okay. I've been protecting you all, and I am done, done using illusions. I'm gonna throw my fucking fireball. I want Dolores to take away her illusion mm -hmm. effect over over this fireball, and I want her to shoot this fireball directly towards Krondar. Towards Krondar. Yep. Okay, got it. Okay. I hurl my fireball straight in front of me. It is the colors of orange and red and yellow, and it burns. Everyone can feel the heat. I can feel the heat. And I push it away from my body right in front of me. Go ahead and roll to hit with that fireball. Seven. Coda, you're also gonna wanna roll. Okay, 18 plus two, so that's 20. 17. 17, okay, you dodge it as well. Krungar sees that and just takes a step back and is like, whoa, <laughs> spicy, what you missed. It wasn't meant for you. <gasps> okay, um, mimic, mimic horde. Okay, so <laughs> this horde mimic is the only thing that gets hit by your fireball. Oh. Uh, Dolores, go ahead and roll. <laughs> 8d6. You know what would be fun? Jeez. Everybody hand oh Dolores god. your d6s. Oh my god. Give me all your d's. I'm using the power of everyone here and everyone who is not here. Oh. That's everyone. Tungo. Especially Tungo. Okay. Um, oh. That's an d12. Um, okay, so um, the Mimic Horde gets hit with this fireball. Yes. And wretches angrily, and you see this tendril just sort of recede back into its mouth as it closes up and burns and shakes and comes to a stop. <laughs> you did it. So Krungdar looks at that and goes, well, that was, that was real clever, Dolores. Oh no. You're the type of person that I would have promoted. I mean, you come back and visit Seraphel anytime. <laughs> Y'all did great. I would have definitely put you up more for higher pay, better hours, anything. You deserve it, you really do. But like I said, for this economy to work, I needed a villain. Damn. And so he walks on over to the window and looks forward, looks up a little bit, pulls out another scroll himself, puts his hand on the wall, and you can see outside the window there's a blue light. And he walks on over to Gunthar, and he says, well, at least I got four of them and Krungdar grabs Gunfar by the head and suplexes him down into the portal, <gasps> out the window, <gasps> portal, hundreds of feet to the ground. <gasps> what? And Krungdar is standing there looking at you like, damn, I really wish it had just been the castle. Well, it's incredible to me that four mercenaries went rogue and killed their driver. What a shame. <gasps> You are a monster. You're not gonna get away with this. You are a monster. You're the villain. Mm. I Thanks. beg yeah. to differ. Sick. And he, he looks at you and goes like, think about everything I said. Think about the state of the world. And you tell me if a couple of cracked eggs ain't worth an omelet. And he jumps back down into this portal, out the window, starts sliding down one of the tongues off into the distance. The portal closes behind him. And as you are left in this moment with the dead mimic and the memory of your dead friend, the castle begins to rumble again and settle. And you hear this horrifying scream in the distance, louder than it should ever be, as everything settles to a rest. And so you're left in this vault with all of this money, but the memory of what you just saw. Fernie picks up some gold coins. I still really don't know what this does. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, I still don't know what this does. This is me. Is this the villain? Honestly. Honestly? Honestly? Yeah. yeah. Do we punch it? No. no. Damn. 
I mean, I could. You should probably we, could. That I'm was feeling really, really hey, good hey, right now. Hey, hey, you guys, would it make you feel better? Let's do it. Let's punch some gold. Okay, so all of you roll to hit um, unarmed strikes on this gold. All right. Oh, should we take all this off? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Be fine. Uh, I roll a ten. Okay, great. I want to slice some gold up. I'm slicing it. Okay, so you're slicing some gold up. Roll to hit. <laughs> I swear to God, Chance. It's not three. Twelve plus three. Coda and Dolores, you are too full of rage to properly hit this money. Swinging. You're still you're just wildly swinging blindly, but you two need so much focus right now to get rid of the thought of Gunthar falling from hundreds of feet to the ground below that you're just making these perfect precision strikes on gold. And it may hurt your knuckles a bit, but it doesn't hurt as bad as your heart. I'm going making perfect punches, which I've never done in my life. <laughs> going, he helped you find your purpose, bug. You had a perfect arc. You figured out who you were. Perfect arc. Ah! <laughs> you had a perfect arc and you, and it helped you find out who you were. Fernie lifts up a fist right in front of a gold coin. He's just like, I thought I finally had a purpose. And then it just starts like, <laughs> like just like a jackhammer. Thanks. There's gold, which is evil, and then there's this dead mimic heart, which, which is, is just also there. evil. Okay, well, so it was you... evil. Now I don't know. So if the house has a heart mm -hmm. and the heart is dead, does that make the house dead? Yes. Yes. Because the house used to be alive because it had tongues. Yeah. Yes. In yeah. Okay, because I have animate the dead. Yes. Okay. So I. So and the and the money is in the house and we can't take the money but we could take the house we take and the we can house. move and we can travel because then I can use the spell and we can just take the house and we can take the house and we can take the house I'll take the house okay so <laughs> no, I'll take the house oh I'll take oh, the I'm house from my house. ex yeah. oh, I'll always take the house so bug um generally that spell would be used on something smaller like a person but you are so inspired from the situation and the memory of Gunthar that I think if everybody comes to you and helps channel their own magic power and everybody else rolls a d20 as well, yeah. I'm gonna let you attempt And this. what about if I if I cast Beacon of Hope, the spell bestows hope and vitality? <laughs> <laughs> you can't, you can. And guidance? And, and I can, I can anything? use, yeah, I use, can use enhance ability. So you use enhance ability, you use guidance. Okay, 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 okay. Um, uh, it has advantage. Great, oh, advantage, great. Um, so Bug, roll a d20 for me. <sighs> okay, this whole time I've been playing with crossbows. Meanwhile, I can animate right. the dead. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, I know, we Correct. really we really were. We're also in episode nine. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've been sticking crossbows through my freaking flip flops. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can make a house move. <laughs> That is a actual natural 20 for you doing this, Buck. Everybody else roll your d20s too. Add in your power. That was f***ing crazy, don't do it on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 20, 20! What the f***? That's crazy. 11! Yeah! Seven. Uh, well, okay. That's okay. Two nat 20s. So y'all had two natural 20s. So channeling your powers together. Um, Bug, you dig deep and you've never felt so connected to the deity through which you've pledged your devotion. So you feel Kelwick's power for the first time. You know that this power is coming from both Kelwick and yourself. And you are bringing this heart back to life. But it is no longer this wild monstrosity that it used to be. It is under your control. And while you can't necessarily maintain this for too long, you are able to move this castle. Does anyone want to act as a lookout with like unseen servant uh, can or? I, uh, can I also just say something kind of cool really quick? Yeah. Um, so uh, Fernie's there, he's got his hand on your shoulder and he's just like, you know, I, I, I can really sense everyone's belief, but I just want to say, I, I believe in you. I definitely believe in you, but I can sense that Coda believes in you the most. And I think that's pretty cool. Because he didn't believe in you before, and I could feel that. <laughs> oh, he definitely did not believe in you. <laughs> but could, in this I moment, in this moment, too. they absolutely believe in you. I could feel it too. Meanwhile, I'm holding a house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to say real quick while you're doing that. <laughs> Gina, Gina, uh, Bug needs a little bit of help. I'm calling my Gina, unknown. Gina, Gina, Gina. Sorry, Gina. I'm calling her out. Gina's like looking out the window and like keeping an eye out, and we'll just constantly be like. Good job, Gina. She's great with parallel parking. Rip and Dip are both having horrible trips. I mean, yeah. They're both just like, what's happening, <laughs> man? <laughs> I'll cast Minor Illusion and I'll amplify to a shout and be like, move out of the way. Villagers, move out of the way. I love that. I'll be getting literally emotional right This now. is great, no, this is good content. Krungdar came here trying to make four villains, but I think he ended up making four heroes. 
Whoa. Okay, that warmed my heart. Yeah, big words coming from you, Coda. Yeah. Guys, are we gonna stick together? Of course. Well, we are wanted by everyone it, it, as in the whole world, as far as we know. They okay. think we're villains, All but right. we know we're heroes. Yeah. And everyone yeah. in this castle knows we're heroes. Cool, yeah. We yeah, are right. heroes. Really. I mean, everything's different about us. Yeah. That's not just a crossbow anymore. That's a crossbow of heroes. Yes, mm-hmm. this is my hammer of heroes. Yeah. This this is my big bag of heroes. I love that. This, yes. this, um, the, uh, yeah. this is- You got it. Um, ooh, Come on. The, the hands of heroes. Perfect. Yes. This right here, sword of heroes. Yes. We're the sword of heroes. Like we are, yeah. Cause the, heroes are use uh, like they they would be like, oh, I'm gonna use them. Yeah, yeah, like we're the sword of heroes. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that's our name. Oh, I like that. Right? You, you guys, you guys are sort of heroes. That works. Yeah, the everybody sword has of been saying that this entire yeah, you're, time. You're sort so of heroes. Yeah, knew that. Yeah, like swords. Yeah, you're. Yeah, so, you're sort of heroes. Yeah. All right. We're sort of heroes. Look at you go. Look at you go. Look at you go. Look. I have another cool thought. Okay. Okay, so we know the name of our our group. Um, I was also thinking we have this castle. What if we called it the Gunthar? I love that. That's the this castle because it's also like a moving castle. So it's like it's like a, also a ship. So it's like the Gunthar. A little pretty th- sick, right? Because he can't die in vain. Like he he's my motivation to yeah. beat the crap out of Krungdar. Yeah. Bug looks up and is. Full of water. <laughs> I think it's a really good idea, Fernie. I don't know if you know what this is, but these are tears. Because I'm touched. Some sap like rolls out of his <laughs> oh. eye, eye hole. You've had uh, that forever? That's really good in a mixed drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, Gaspard is looking at all this as he's like hanging up a banner that says like, welcome new owners of San Savour and just goes like. <laughs> <laughs> Can Dolores yell out? I love us. <laughs> oh. <It's> silence. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Rip, Rip walks out from out of nowhere. He's just eating cereal, he's just like. What? (laughs) 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 And this has been Sword AF Delivering Destiny, Season 1.